Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. Saints, has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad. Keep sharing on Facebook. Keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank when a man truly has an encounter with God, one of the things that must happen is transformation. 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 A change of mindset. A change of values. A change of ideology. A change of perception. Something must happen to your mentality. Listen, the word of God is a programming. The word of God is a programming. I told us last week, I went somewhere for a, a crusade and they were asking me, they said, what is the advice to nigerian youth i said i don't have any advice for the nigerian youth the nigerian youth they don't need an advice they need a programming a change are you getting my point now a change let me have someone aaron good to see you hallelujah watch this if this is the direction aaron is headed all right if he's following this direction i hope you know that he's taking this step based on a mindset is that true based on an ideology based on a conviction whether academic whether cultural whether religious it doesn't matter now what the word of god does is that when you collide with god through his word there must be a force from the word greater than the force that was initially driving you and that force changes your state this is what we call repentance to repent is not just to confess your sin. To repent is to lay down the ideology that take you into that realm and bring you into a new philosophy so that we can look at you and see that your thinking pattern has changed. Let me tell you, if your thought life does not change, if your mindset does not change, you can limit God in your life. Hallelujah. The Bible says they limited God in the wilderness. As mighty as God is, a man's mentality can limit God. For a long time, God wanted to bless Abraham. But the mindset of the traditional worship, the mindset of the culture he was coming from, limited God. God kept beckoning on him. I want to make you a father of nations. I want to make you great. But Abraham's mind could not cooperate with that which the spirit wanted to do. And one day the Lord said, Abraham, come out of your house. I, I, I need to do something to your mind to align with my purposes for your life. Abraham, come out. He said, now look at the stars. Let me give you something to play around with. And when he tried counting the stars, he said, can you count them? He said, no. He said, so shall thy seed be. Finally, Abraham believed God and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Hallelujah. The power of God is not short to change and bring miracles and breakthroughs. It's just that we have been taught. And, and, and it's my job in the body of Christ to always address imbalances and error. On one side, we've been taught that everything depends on God. You have no role to play. You just be born again and there is a smooth ride. Common sense teaches you that it does not make sense. Are you following me now? Then on the other hand, we have men who are struggling 
just using concepts alone and human philosophy forgetting that there must be a god factor in the equation of your life both extremes are very very wrong all through scripture from genesis to revelation there has always been a partnership between god through his spirit and a willing vessel that can pay the price and allow his mindset to subscribe to the higher values of heaven hallelujah the difference between brother a and brother b is not the color of their skin is their degree of alignment to the holy spirit how much they have submitted their mindset to take up the higher mindset of the values listen the bible says my thoughts are higher than your thoughts is that true and and that word the the, the greek word word there word of god is logos it means the thoughts of god so the word of god gives you his ideology when you read my books you study my persuasions you study my convictions is that true so if you stay long enough with my books and you open up yourself to the influence of my thought patterns you will begin to think like me even if you've never met me we will talk as though we've been together this is the ministry of the word it's not just to make us speak christian language no the word of god is supposed to transcend it produces a force that force compels your mind to change to align to spiritual things so that when god wants to pass through your life your ideologies will not resist him hallelujah bless you Aaron. everybody say transformation are you being transformed it's not enough to come to church and sit down and keep writing is the word of god changing you you can limit the power of the word of god some of you can choose to walk out of this place wow nice sermon so this is how koinonia is like wonderful i'm impressed i'm blessed that can be your the the, the things that you are carrying back home and someone else can sit down and say lord i'm aware that my mindset is the reason why i am where i am my mindset has been limiting your work in my life you want to bless me but there's something in my life that resists you you want to lift me you want to make me great but there's something and i am aware so i come to man he needs to step into your soul realm and take complete charge of your mind your mindset so that your ideologies are a derivative of the word of god not culture there are aspects of culture that are good there are aspects of culture that are devilish devilish they were crafted out by wicked men sponsored by spirits that are not under the influence of the spirit of god and many of us have grown up with these ideologies and although you've gone to school although you are working although you are married that mindset is stopping god from doing certain things in your life many of us have gotten mindsets by from our past you have a mindset concerning fatherhood you have a mindset concerning marriage you have a mindset concerning money concerning prosperity concerning poverty concerning god concerning the holy spirit these are all mindsets that have been given unto us by a system that does not honor god so when we come into his presence we do not come just to say lord add to what i have sometimes you need to say lord open me up like a surgery right and pick out everything that does not align with your divine pattern everybody say transformation listen if the word of god is truly changing you then regardless of the fact that aaron is from kaduna state and ken is from the east you should have similarities in mindset because you have you have laid down your personal culture to pick up the excellence of the culture of a higher kingdom hallelujah but the issue is that many of us love seeing the power of god we love seeing the grace of god we love seeing people fall under the anointing and miracles happen and there's nothing wrong with that 
except for the fact that is the word of god changing you the, the decisions you made last year if you still make those decisions today in spite of the power of god's word then that's what they call frustrating the grace of god hallelujah the bible says the days of our ignorance god overlooks right so if you do not know god can create a system by his mercy to help you but where the word of the lord comes it comes to build you it comes to take you out of your current position hallelujah say i allow the word of god to change me say it i allow the word of god to change me the worst evil you can do to yourself is to hold on to your mindset hold on to what you had that made you such a failure it was the failure that brought you to the presence of god and now god is saying lay down this thing pick up another culture that can take you your ministry is grounded because of a mindset that is keeping you lay down that mindset and pick up another your marriage is not working because there is a mindset that is keeping you your relationship is not working because there is a mindset men run away from you because there is a mindset women run away because there is a mindset the power of god is far favor is far from your life because there is an ideology that stands as an antichrist but when you come to god's presence it tells you lay down this mindset lay down this mindset that's your own responsibility to say lord all my life i've been taught that you must be a hustler to make it hit it left right and center i saw my father hustling i saw my mother hustling i saw my elder ones hustling and god says uh -uh, the kingdom of god is not haphazard come and let me teach you how the economic system of the kingdom works and you're like lord is there even a system and he says yes there is you can walk circumspectly hallelujah all your life you've always known that if a lady wants to marry she'll go to a herbalist with the picture of the person he wants to marry and one goat that's all you've seen people around you dragging goats to herbalist to chain a brother and force him to get married that's how you know it to be done now you are ready to get married and they say oh yeah where is your own goat and god is saying uh-uh uh-uh he says seek out of the book and read none shall want her mate so a new ideology starts coming and i'm telling you if you are changing it will create blessings and create persecutions at the same time because you live in an environment with people who have refused to change so your change begins to frustrate them if they are not fighting you you are not changing are you hearing what i'm saying something must change about your life everyone is used to bribing if you want job give this person through the back door 50,000 and they tell you look we're all Christians in fact I'm a pastor as you see me like this we all did it and the moment you want to do that a scripture rises up in you something changes is there anything too hard for me to do I am that I am and a scripture wells up in you what fellowship has righteousness got to do with lawlessness and what communion has light got to do with darkness and you turn and tell them i'm going to cry but my god will give me this job i will not bribe anybody no bribery and they say look at how stupid you are talking nigeria this thing has been there he said uh -uh, i may be a nigerian but i function from another realm there is a kingdom that sponsors my life and i'm an ambassador and i can call on the embassy i represent it may take a while i may look stupid but god is able to make it happen the moment you speak you mount pressure on god because he's the one you are representing and for the sake of his reputation you cause him to step down but many of us are ashamed at such points you say i went to school how can i start talking about 
embassy heaven i please let's let's be reasonable what is fifty thousand hallelujah before now your ideology has been the quickest way to be rich is pin down one rich man just find a re even if he's not born again you will change him pin him down force him to marry you that's how they've been taught and there are many people here as you are sitting down some is your parents they've indirectly warned you they say have we not suffered in this life you say yes we have suffered say do you want us to continue like this they say no sir say talk complete the puzzle by yourself what they are telling you indirectly is that no matter how born again this brother is once he has not arrived the promises are not there pack your load and go and some of you that's how you are looking and god is sending a very godly brother you are seeing him pray here he's sweating in your presence he's hearing the word of god that can change but because he has not gotten to canaan while you are sitting down kicking away men you will see a quick work that god will do in him all of a sudden saul who was a slave or a, 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 a somebody else will come in power and glory and you will now look and say ah oh god why didn't you show me a vision that this guy would change so fast say mindset say it some of you are already angry it's too early i've not started preaching it's too early this night could it be that there is a mindset that is frustrating you there are many pastors who are suffering and struggling in ministry because their mindsets about ministry will never change i said it last week they are looking for lifting quickly they want everybody to call them a pastor you call them aaron they say aaron you didn't add pastor that's a mindset because you think that is the title that gives the dignity He said, if you call yourself the children of Abraham, do the works of Abraham. Prove that you are the children of Abraham indeed. You don't move around saying, I'm an apostle, I'm a prophet, I'm a teacher. He said, let her works speak for her at the gates. Who is God speaking to tonight? Your mindset is limiting him. Your mindset is limiting God. Your mindset is limiting God. Every brother that comes to marry you, something happens and he leaves. We have prayed for you. We knew the day you were delivered. So we are sure you are delivered. But things have not changed. That means there is a mindset problem. Listen, it's not everything that is demons. You must learn to take responsibility. Many of us receive solace in the fact that demons, when you hear them say it's not your fault, you say yes, I've always known. It's your fault this night. You must take responsibility. I've always known from my father's house they want to kill me. But you were delivered. Everybody saw that God changed you. Why have things not changed? Because your mindset is a bigger demon. An antichrist that is standing between Canaan and Egypt. Hallelujah. There are Christians who still cheat in the exam hall. They say forget it i saw a pastor doing it with my own eyes ah i even know him if i mention his name you i saw him so what hallelujah what about living all kinds of immoral life in the world the primary purpose of relationship is for immorality it's not even for marriage it's just a an official way of looking for a partner to be sleeping around with so when a guy thinks he doesn't have enough courage to look around for ladies he goes to find somebody and say okay we're in a relationship they don't even know where they are going hallelujah and there are believers who love god some of you are here you are looking at me you see i'm not condemning you but i'm saying that 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 god must come face to face with the world and when it comes one must bow you cannot embrace these things and say let's go together it can go we can walk it no you cannot walk it light and darkness cannot stay in the same place 
don't say it does not matter let me tell you the truth if you want to see the authentic glory of god in your life no it matters and i always say this because many of us here are young people don't let anybody fool you and say everybody is doing it no sir there are people who have tapped into a higher law the bible says who shall ascend to the hill of the lord until you climb that hill it does not look like it's possible are you getting my point i counsel people i talk to people and there are people who come and say i love god but i women hey i, I can't see women i don't ah, is, is it really true that there are people who are keeping themselves it's not by determination hallelujah if it's by determination maybe i would have had children that that would do children's service for koinonia but there is a grace that takes you so although you are human people say i beg jerry you are flesh and blood no but there is a spirit that lives inside you the bible says know ye not that your body listen choose to believe this this night don't let it sound childish to you choose to believe if it was not possible god would be a wicked person for putting that as a principle hallelujah transformation there are some of us who can kill for money that's your own mindset you overcame ladies from bed you don't even have a problem with ladies because you you want to make it even if a lady stands naked in your front once there's no money on her you are living you are not the devil can the devil has been defeated when it comes to that one but money ha, ha, ha. you can be dying if they wave money you come back to life there are people like that they love money they can just put money on their table and just be looking at it like this they are not using it it's, it's doing it's like a drug they are taking your worst time in church is when they say giving of all sorts even if they don't mention you the fact that somebody else is going to drop money you take it personal you are not giving but just seeing that money is leaving somebody is it, paining you something is moving in your body advise this guy to take it back it's a spirit it's a dangerous spirit hallelujah there are many of us who have certain mindsets of laziness laziness hallelujah a man will sleep till one o'clock in the afternoon you are a man when do you want to marry next year till one o'clock you are still sleeping and you will see one of our sisters who has been trusting god preparing herself like a bride for a very nice person you just believe that because we say hug one another in koinonia it gives you a license to just get up carelessly and just go and meet a sister and say shabby they said let's get to know one another no are you preparing for that future i'm challenging you tonight say transformation what mindset have you refused to drop down romans chapter 12 Can you imagine that I've not even touched my message? Hallelujah. Romans chapter 12. Say the word of the Lord is changing me. Say it is changing me. It's building me. Romans chapter 12. Okay. Let's just turn there. I beseech you therefore brethren by the message of God that you present your bodies a living sacrifice holy acceptable unto God which is your reasonable service verse 2 and be not conformed to this world but be what be how do you get transformed 
by the renewing of your mind you get transformed when you take your mind to the theater of the spirit and a surgery is performed the spirit of god himself and the surgical knife is the word of god that is able to cut across the bones and the marrows and it opens you up and begins to edit your life and when it is done you come back a brand new person hallelujah there are many of us those around you who are unbelievers there's no pressure that your life is bringing to them in fact they are more they are comfortable a guy can i'm not talking of condemnation and just pointing fingers at people and say you are going to hell no but that there is an illumination that your transformation can bring to anybody that is not serious with god that if somebody's prayer life is dying he doesn't even need to tell you all he needs to say is can i come and spend weekend in your house or in your room and they are so sure that at the end of three days something will change in their lives hallelujah there are some channels if you are walking in sin you will never want to turn to those channels perpetually 24 hours you will hear a message almost immediately within a space of five minutes that will judge you dove tv redeemed rtm you know that once you are doing something wrong you want to look for another channel that can accommodate what you are doing when you turn to those ones you hear papa Adebo, just give five minutes something is already flogging the nonsense in you can your life be like that that people are gossiping and and talking stories about others and as soon as you step in everybody just keeps quiet because a true ambassador stepped in one who will not compromise not that when you step in say hey come add add to this discussion what what were you even saying that day no hallelujah that in your office when they are mentioning men and women of integrity your name must be mentioned and they know that no if you want to throw this person try it another way bribery will not work even if it means him being demoted just forget it there is no issue of having a meeting with him it will not happen come on now listen if this is not happening in this place then we are wasting our time i don't care how many people fall on the ground roll on the ground even if you float in the air if it does not translate to transformation in your life then we are lying somewhere hallelujah so is your mindset changing ask your neighbor say is your mindset changing What did he tell you ask him who can verify that you are changing you can't call somebody that you bought something for in the afternoon to verify whether you are changing or not the answer will certainly be yes your enemy is the only person with the right to testify whether you truly fear God or not it was Satan that came to testify about Job is that true Satan himself he said ah no come on now I've seen a man Job Satan the father of all liars a man's integrity compels Satan to tell the truth he said I know I'm a liar I can twist things but this one there's nothing I can say against this man May that be your testimony. That somebody can look at you and say, I know, I hate Ken. Let me tell you, I hate him. But when you are talking about a man who is a Christian indeed, I'm an, I, I'm an unbeliever. As you see me, I don't fear God. I, let me go to hell, but I can tell you, this person, have you seen people like that? They don't respect God. They look at you and say, see, see cigarette in my pocket. 
but I can point to you who are the real men of God. And you even be talking. It was in Antioch when unbelievers called this set of people Christians. Those who were behaving like Christ. Not religiously, something had happened to them. See, if your mindset does not change and you are trying to fake it, it will frustrate you. Are you getting what I'm saying? One day you will be tired. If you don't have a revelation of giving and you are giving, 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 one day when there's nobody, you say, Kai, I'm tired, honestly. Thank God this, my wicked roommate, is not going to follow me for koinonia today. I'm tired. That's how you can see many people serve in the body of Christ. Immediately they leave to another geographical location within two or three months. They've changed in a way. You'll be like, uh-uh. This brother used to lead prayers. What suddenly happened? They really did not get it. I'm telling you. There is a way you get it. It becomes like a cancer in you. No matter how much you fall, you can't go too far. The, the fraternity is too much. It's like a cult. When you see people claim to love God and two months away from an environment of God's presence, they just change. They really did not get it. You can be among believers, I hope you know, doing what everybody is doing. But everybody knows the foundation and the root where he is standing. And the Bible says, let he that stands take heed lest he falls. So number one, transformation. Number two, three things that must happen in your life. You ready? Number two, is that your life must bear fruits it must produce results write it fruits results the fruit in a tree is a sign that that tree has been well nourished and that it is alive and growing jesus caused a fig tree not because he did not see green leaves he caused the fig tree because it was taking up nutrients from the earth but it was not producing fruits your life must prove that god is at work in you not just by transformation transformation is good we talk about character and conformity but there must be results in your life everyone say results bishop oyedeko said the end of every argument is proof you don't argue with proof are you getting my point now when john the baptist sent that they should go and ask jesus are you the messiah or should we expect another jesus did not even answer he just turned started healing the sick casting out devils he said go and tell john what you have seen is this not the evidence that was given to him in the wilderness that the messiah would do now see me doing it why are you asking again hallelujah when you are a christian and you are excellent in your job they give you a task to do you do it with with a dimension of intelligence that is not known to those people there is a proof there are you hearing what i'm saying when you keep loving god and you get to a point look let me tell you if you serve god with time everything around your life should change i'm not one of those people who believes that you should just sit down of course in the process there are lots of things to contend against but with time there must be fruit that sign upon your life that god is with you even if you work for the devil even if you work for the devil one day ultimately he's going to destroy you but at least in the interim you will reap the death the bed the evidence of allegiance is that true there are all kinds of worldly people who are about to tag on and although they are going to hell if they do not repent but in the interim they are enjoying heaven on earth at least that's the consolation to keep them satan took jesus to a mountain and said jesus if you will bow to me i promise you ah yeah i have i've not started preaching no that's the problem you will just look now and see that it's past nine I wish there was a way I can throw all these clocks out of this, this place. There's so much in my spirit to share. 
Hallelujah. Everybody say results. Say proofs. If you claim God is calling you in a healing ministry, it's okay that when we start, nothing is happening. But with time, there should be the signature of God upon your healing ministry. I do not know any healing evangelist who organizes a crusade and God does not confirm it. If he's a true healing evangelist, somebody should be sick. Somebody should arise from the wheelchair. I do not know one true person who carries the apostolic spirit of God who struggles with fear and timidity and does not have the power of faith and the work of God in their lives. I do not know one person like that except they are just talking stories. Are you getting what I'm saying? Say after me in the name of Jesus. May my life produce results. Many of you, this is the level you are right now. The reason why nobody has listened to you or subscribe to your ideologies is because they have not seen the benefit is that true and and, and and i want to be very honest with you benefit in every area of life financially maritally job wise in every area of your life no matter how critical people are let me tell you proof can close the mouth of anybody are you getting me you can criticize a man the greatest way to respond to your critics is not by answering. Don't waste your time. They are determined not to understand. Keep trailing the proofs. Let the works keep speaking at the gates. A point will come, those they are talking to will say, I'm tired of hearing your stories. You waste your own proof. Hallelujah. When Jesus hung upon the cross, about to die, the Bible says the atmospheric condition the climate just changed and those who looked there they just remembered and truly they acknowledged even in death they saw something there are many of us it will just take one proof everybody say one proof one proof for every unbeliever in your house to bow down they've grown in poverty they've suffered in poverty although that's not an ultimate reason to push them to god but trust me prosperity can bring men to god hallelujah when every herbal medicine has failed when every black substance they they tied in the leather and they told your father to choke in the pocket of all his trousers to bring prosperity when he has put it in every pocket and it refused to bring prosperity and you come teaching the principles of the kingdom and things begin to change come on now you don't argue with proofs hallelujah may your life produce results in the name of jesus christ may you not be like the barren fig tree a fig tree with green leaves that means they are seeing you coming for koinonia every week every week to an extent that others can look at you and mock you and say where is your god I prophesy to you your God is coming through for you in the name of the Lord Jesus your God is coming through to silence every Pharaoh that attempts to mock your God your life will produce result in the name of Jesus Christ results I believe in results I believe in results Many of you are here by the grace of God, not necessarily because you love me. Some of you don't even love me at all. You don't plan to. It's just that you need the results. Hallelujah. But you are still welcome. And the power of God is such that the results can be reproduced again and again and again. That's why I love the anointing of the Holy Spirit. You don't need to refrigerate it. You don't need to give your neighbor to keep it for you and collect it on except you use talisman that's why i worship him take his presence and his glory out of my life many of you will see me on the street and pass as if you just saw a tire on the floor that's why 
I feel sad for people who want to come out of inferiority and complex and kick, they kick God out of the equation and they believe they'll be able to rise without him. Impossible. Impossible. If you are tired of your condition, the greatest way is to embrace God first. Hallelujah. Because God will take you out of every situation. Results. Your life must bear fruit in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Say, my life must bear fruit. Go ahead, pray in one minute. Pray in one minute. I don't just want us to talk it as stories. My life must bear fruit. Shekata ba 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 ba. My life must bear fruit. My life must bear fruit. I've been born again for many years. No soul has come to the kingdom as a result of my life. Lord, I'm tired. I've been praying for the sick. I don't have one verifiable testimony. Let this change, oh God. Everyone I've prayed for for breakthrough, they've returned with worse situations instead of making it better. But Lord, I've told them you are with me. Change my story. The finance of my family has not changed. Lord, I'm not loving you just because of finances. But if my finances change, my father will follow me to church. If my finances change, if my loved ones get admission, they will come to know you. For their sake, oh God, let there be results in my life. Please pray. I sense that God wants us to pray on this issue. My life must bear fruits. My life must bear fruits. My life must bear fruit, oh God. I'm tired of a barren and unfruitful Christian life. My ministry is not growing. Pray because there's no proof. My God, people come and they leave. If there are real miracles, if there are real transformations, they will come and stay. Everyone mocks my family in spite of our spirituality because they have not seen god change our level turn again oh god the captivity of zion like the streams of the negev let men see an evidence that god is with us pray say lord let the marriage come even if it is to prove that jesus is alive to prove that the witches and the wizards and the devils in my village do not have the final say lord i know that there is a cause of poverty that lingers in my family but i've confessed your word that it is broken let it show in my life as a testament so that idol worship can stop in my family we have no right to tell men to stop going to harvest if we cannot produce the proofs that God is with us. We have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get children if we cannot heal the body. We have no right to tell people to stop going to the devil to get money if we cannot prove that God prospers people. Lift your voice and pray. Get angry. Change my story. Change my story. Oh God, I have served you in spite of the result but tonight i hold on to you change my story pray koinonia there is a spirit of intercession that has come upon the house pray change my story change my story change my story prove a point with my life make me an object of prayer silence the voice 
of wicked men many a day that rise up against me many a day that say where is his help but i will lift up my eyes to the hills from whence cometh my help my help comes from the maker of the heavens and the earth oh god let there be a difference between those that serve you and those that do not serve you come on saints of god travel for your destiny there must be an evidence you have been transformed but there are no results there are no results men have a right to speak against your god lord hasten my miracle come on pray hasten my miracle hasten the breakthrough please pray god is answering people in this place lord give my father the job although my auntie's past menopause give her a child as a sign and a wonder that god is alive although my sister is 40 years old give her a husband that men may know that god is alive although my father was sacked from the job give him another one oh god to prove that you may be a prophet over my family lord you have vowed to increase my greatness produce results in my life come on koinonia pray produce results in my life that can silence men produce results that can prove that my god is alive i love him more than the results but in this season i desire to see the result command it command it increase my greatness let the blind see through my hands oh god for your glory pray let the wheelchair arise to silence principalities and powers open the heavens oh god and let prosperity come upon my life where i'll be rejected no man wants to identify with me make me an eternal excellency come on are you praying koinonia and a joy of many generations hallelujah 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 we'll take one prayer point before we settle down you're going to pray and say lord every power that stops my miracles from the heavenlies so that men will keep mocking my god tonight i command you to give way come on lift your voice and pray daniel prayed for 21 days the angel came and said daniel from the first day that you set yourself to pray your prayers were answered but the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, the prince of Persia, pray i subdue powers i subdue powers that operate in the heavenlies territorial spirits I subdue powers in the heavenly realms. I subdue powers, workers of evil. You must bow. There is fire in my life. There is fire in my destiny to burn every chaff everything god has not planted shake it off shake it off shake it from your life i shake away witchcraft i shake away divination i shake away enchantment come on now shake it off in the name of jesus no power can stand i am an infant of fire no enchantment no curse can stand against my destiny. 
pray your prayer will bear fruit it will produce results pray the effectual fervent prayer is our season of greatness we went war against poverty we went war against sickness we went war against the works of darkness it's our season to arise come on now pray make your life too hot for the devil make your life too hot for witches and wizards make your life too hot for wicked spirits break the yoke from your neck Break the yoke from your shoulders. Shake it off. Shake it off. Shake it off. Tell the devil I stand in my priestly and my prophetic office. Tonight I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. I confront you by myself. Hallelujah. Listen. 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 There must come a time in your life where you stop getting afraid and rise up and say, Satan, I've had the word enough. I don't need to wait for Friday again. Come into my room like Mount Camel. Let's solve this problem once and for all. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. They've not laid hands on me for nothing. One more time, we are going to pray. Come on, pray. This is breakthrough prayers. This is breakthrough prayers. I sense the spirit of prayer and supplication. In prayer, there is power when you say to pray. There is power when you pray. Make contact with the spirit. There is power. I don't know is enough. Where is the devil? Where is the devil? By the power of prophetic prayer, resist the devil. He will flee. Hallelujah. I feel an open heaven. I know when there is an open heaven. Hallelujah. 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 Listen. I taught you on the speaking blood. We are going to apply the blood of Jesus. You are going to say, Satan, this is the price to release my destiny. I invoke the blood. Come on now, Koinonia. I invoke the blood. Every sacrifice that has been born and made, I invoke the blood. The blood of Jesus. I invoke the blood. I challenge the gates of hell through the blood. The blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus. The Christ. Rekete, 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen. Come. Let me have four people. Let me show you what prayer does in the spirit. Let me just have four people stand here. Just, just turn like this. Face it. Stand. Just stand behind. Watch this. Watch this. Someone come and hold this. Anybody? This is your miracle. This is your breakthrough. But watch this. Stand there. Please shift forward. Paul said, listen. He said, a great door and an effectual has been opened unto me. He said, but many, many, many are the adversities. These are the spirits. He said, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in heavenly places. Watch this. The Bible says, if any man afflicted, let him pray. If any man afflicted, let him pray. When you begin to pray, watch this. There is a force there is a force of the spirit that begins to mount pressure 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 on all of these things it's an ability of the spirit you push through barriers by the power of god's spirit until you take what belongs to you listen listen that's why god gives you one of the reasons why he gives you the prayer language of tongues praying in your understanding will weary you after 20 minutes the bible says you may not understand the dynamics on how to confront this spirit but when you switch to that prayer language the holy ghost hey yeah, 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 yeah. the holy ghost listen when you begin to pray When your prayer life rises, the devil must let you go. If you come out, pray. The devil must let you go. If you come out, pray. The devil must let you go. If you come out, pray. Hallelujah. See, listen. There is a way you can pray. You will know when you break through. The reason is, the truth is, many believers don't pray. Hallelujah. There is a way you can pray. You will know your spirit is lifted from that realm. You will know an audacity comes upon you. You know you can shake off evil. Hallelujah. 
One more prayer point. Before you sit down, you're going to say in the name of Jesus, I take back everything the devil has taken from my family. Prophesy. Shita. Wapata Hallelujah. 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 The hand of the Lord is upon me. And I want to prophesy. As I prophesy, the power of God will be causing breakthroughs and restoration. The anointing of the Spirit is strong upon me. In the name of the Lord Jesus, I command every power holding anyone down right now in the name of jesus i command you let them go let them go right now let them go i prophesy breakthrough i command breakthrough in the name of the lord jesus i command breakthrough to your family breakthrough financial breakthrough breakthrough in health Academic, break through in your job in the name of Jesus. Amen. Open heaven. Open heaven. Amen. It's your season to rise. It's your season of greatness. Every power stopping you. We challenge it tonight in the name of Jesus. Amen. Please sit down. God bless you. Be seated. Your life must become uncomfortable for anything that is not of God. See, I tell you, the power of God is I sense such a strong anointing resting on people. As I teach, God is going to be visiting people in very strong ways. Enough is enough. God gave us a word. He said, I will increase your greatness and comfort you on every side. I'm not sure I can go into the details of tonight's teaching, but... I hope I'll be able to touch. I really have a very serious revelation that I want to share. Let's see how far God can help us. Wherever we stop. Hallelujah. Genesis 1. Verse 26. The Lord gave us a word that this year for us is a season of light and dominion. It's not just a word 
like many ministries have a word at the beginning of the year hallelujah light he said they that sat in nefta and zebulun have seen a great light a great light genesis 1 verse 26 and god said let us make man in our image after our likeness and let them have dominion let them this man i hope you know that when he was speaking the woman was still in the man because man adam not the name of a man dust hallelujah man was first created body has thou prepared for me hallelujah and then he brought about a separation between the man and the woman but before then he blessed them and he said let them have dominion now listen it is in the character of the spirit that the same word that brings you prophecy is the same word that prepares the way for that prophecy to come to pass are you getting my point the bible says when at the brook cherith when the brook dried he told elijah the prophet he said get thee go down to Zarephath." he said dear i have commanded a widow to feed thee but the woman did not sound like god had informed her a prophet was coming however the same word that took elijah to Zarephath was the same word that softened the heart of the woman so when god gives you a word the word follows you through and make sure that the path is clear until that word comes to pass are you getting what i'm saying so when god said let man have dominion that means there must have been a provision for that man to access what it takes to walk in that dominion hallelujah god does not just speak empty talk it's like sending a man to the market and not giving him money so let's see how god equipped man to exercise dominion in reality hallelujah genesis chapter 2 i wish we had time but i'll just touch briefly wherever thank you jesus verse 8 and the lord planted a garden eastward in eden and there he put the man that he had formed and out of the ground made the lord to grow every tree that is pleasant in the sight and good for food now watch this everybody look up the bible says god made every other tree to grow from the ground are you following me however the bible says there were two trees those trees did not grow from the ground follow me are you getting my point the bible says god made to grow every tree pleasant to the eyes that is good for food then it says the tree of life also also in the midst of the garden and then he says and the tree of the knowledge of good and evil please follow me i want to teach you powerful spiritual laws that can help you to walk in dominion to eat of every tree including the tree of life are you getting my point the first revelation i want you to have is that man's eating the tree of life was not for hunger are you getting me adam could not be hungry he was not in the fallen state are you getting me in the realm of the spirit you don't eat for hunger for hunger you eat for impartation and knowledge that's what food does in the spirit food does not satisfy hunger no no when you eat food like let's say in spiritually now i'm not talking of all these demonic things that people you saw yourself eating sweet in the dream that's not what i'm talking about hallelujah you don't eat in the spirit to satisfy hunger food does two things for you in eden's atmosphere one it gives you knowledge two it gives you impartation hallelujah that's why the prophet was giving 
the word and he ate it when he ate it he did something to him are you getting what i'm saying now watch this everybody write the mystery of forbidden knowledge that's not the topic i want to show you what the two trees were supposed to represent one was the tree of life the other was called the tree of the knowledge of good and evil another word was the it, it carried what we call the mystery of forbidden knowledge the word mystery just means hidden truths about a knowledge that god does not want his people to know not because he hates them you must understand this god does not want us to know everything and then i will show you what the angels came and did the fallen angels when they came they did something to the daughters of men are you getting me they took from this forbidden knowledge and they began to feed mankind with it ah. time, 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 time. praise god god categorically warned man he said the trees in the garden of eden every time you eat them they will do something to you are you getting what i'm saying so if you eat of the tree of life it will keep giving you the revelation and the insight to walk in dominion it gives life eating of that tree gives life are you getting me that's the mystery of eternal life adumbrated by that tree that's why when jesus came he said ah, ah man shall not live by bread alone if man wants to live he must keep eating something are you getting me so walking experientially for eternal life to be culminated in you there is something that must be done in you please listen and this is where i want to balance this is what where we get the concept of immortality how many of you have heard all those teachings of immortality now unfortunately many people brought the teachings but they did not understand how the operation immortality is not something you claim immortality is a product of eating of the tree of life again and again it causes eternal life not just to translate from your spirit to your soul but to happen in your body and that's where you say oh death where is your sting are you getting what i'm saying now it so happens that our rate of transformation is so slow are you getting me now that the degradation of the sin nature in our body catches up with us before these capsules of rejuvenation find expression in us this is why although the law of immortality is at work not many people will ever enter it the secret is not just prayer for long life the secret is intercoursing with this eternal life that was how adam was supposed to live forever are you getting my point now so by eating of the tree of life that was why when he fell god said no you can't eat of the tree of life again because the tree of life keeps you in whatever state you are and stops you from dying if he ate of the tree of life salvation redemption would not be possible again so god drove him out are you seeing that now god didn't just drive him because he was angry he drove man out of the garden because he loved him praise the lord what is this i want to explain to you what is this mystery of forbidden knowledge look up how many of you have heard of certain books called the books of moses right 10 books of Moses, 11 books of Moses. How many of you have heard of all these extra biblical references that were written by Egyptians and written by all kinds of people? Have you heard of those kinds of things? How many of you have heard of people that lived long ago in mountains who wrote certain books that were found? Now listen, if I don't teach you this because the Lord began to reveal to me that this is the strategy the devil is bringing when the angels do you know why god did not want man to know i hope you know that adam never knew adam never knew that before his coming there was a history hallelujah he had never eaten of the tree that gives the knowledge of good and with it comes evil are you getting me 
Adam was supposed to eat of the tree of life and continue his intimacy with God and reproduce children after his kind. When Satan came into the garden, Satan did not make Adam sleep with a dog. No, he knew that that would not get the agenda done. He said, man, come. There is one tree I want you to touch. Just taste it once. It will do something to you. Are you getting what I'm saying now? Everybody say forbidden knowledge. This is the information that through sorcery and witchcraft, please hear me, the fallen angels and all of these aliens and all of these devilish spirits, they downloaded and brought to inhabitants in the earth. Are you getting me? These were the informations that were given men like Nimrod. So they had super intelligence about certain things. Are you following me? I want to shock you. I hope you will believe me. Look at me. Did you know that most of our technological advancement, are you getting me, are as a result of fraternity with beings that were not in the earth? Are you getting me? It had to be a supply of a level. It's not just human discipline. Don't mind what all those books tell you. Just be hard working and think well. No, sir. Those people had interactions with beings. Is that how did Solomon become extremely rich and blessed? What happened to him? God visited him from another realm. Is that not true? They had a conversation. Listen, this conversation is still happening in the earth till today. Are you following me? Let me share with you something very briefly i hope you believe me the bible says jesus was giving the parable of the wheat and the tear is that true he said wild men everybody wild men hold on he says while men slept something happened in the earth realm where men were sleeping now the sleeping is not bad we always use that sleep to mean while men were backsliding no he meant literal sleep that means there is something that cannot happen when men are awake. Are you getting me? Jesus was telling us something powerful. He says the moment men sleep, some beings can walk into the earth. And he said the enemy quickly comes, plants something and goes his way. So you wake up with a growth that was not there before you slept. Is somebody following me? What happened? Who came and put it there? while men slept are you seeing why the bible says the keeper of israel neither nor it says every time men sleep something happens in this earth realm there are certain beings that come into the earth realm that's why people sleep in the night and in their dream realms they have all kinds of encounters with beings and animals and all kinds of things happen from intercourse to eating to every kind of thing and they wake up the next day only for them to fail at work or fail in exams something happened while men slept the psalmist saw this in psalm 91 and he says thou shalt not be afraid of the arrows that fly by day right not the noisome pestilence but many believers are dull of understanding dominion dominion is not just a function of i claim it there is spiritual intelligence that can bring you into that position where you walk in dominion are you hearing what i'm saying please are you getting something so this tree of the knowledge of good and evil was never supposed to be consumed by man are you getting me look, look at me when you open that book you will find good 
but you will not know when evil is planted in the good are you getting what i'm saying that's why a pastor can go and read the 12 book of moses or go and read scientology and be looking at it and saying wow so candles or certain things can do something to witches and wizards everybody say forbidden knowledge are you getting that now and then they read certain zodiac books and they look and they say why not i add this knowledge to what i already have are you getting what i'm saying and they will seem to walk powerfully that is the forbidden knowledge the tree of the knowledge of good and evil sometimes we celebrate it what do we call it rema is that true and we bring all kinds of things i've heard about men of god and prophets and all kinds of people who do every kind of nonsense in the body of christ all kinds of magic happening everywhere i once heard of a man of god who came for a program and he was preaching and he called somebody he said look at me the person who looked at him became blind at once yes completely blind at once members were clapping people were running to come and drop seed i don't know what they were tapping into but they were running and everybody was happy watch this and then after the guy preached 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 he did everything and then he prayed again and the guy was open and he said for that reason everything that is closed in everybody's life you know i, I open it and you see everybody just shouting amen listen let me tell you listen listen will people get results they will get tremendous results are you hearing what i'm saying because the laws that have been operated are valid spiritual laws but this is the point because it was not initiated and sponsored by the spirit of god although it is correct knowledge it is called witchcraft so it's not about what produces result it's about the spirit of god initiating and sustaining that process hallelujah there are many teachings coming to the body of christ men and women of god who went to lock themselves to pray for three days and seven days or whatever and in the midst of this prayer because many people did not exalt the word above prophecy they had visitations but they were not of god however they were not visitations of inhabitants of the earth and they came and committed to them power and gave them all kinds of things and they came out from all of those experiences and you see power you see anointing but it is not initiated and sponsored by the spirit and the sign is number one the glory never goes to god such kinds of people never give god the glory because it is part of the agreement are you following me now it is god's desire that we grow the bible even said knowledge shall increase but you must guard when the table is set before you you are only permitted to eat of the tree of life there is a kind of knowledge that only puffs up have you seen people hold on i want to say a few things that will challenge you have you seen a lot of people please i don't mean this for criticism or anything have you seen a lot of people who got mad as a result of prayer have you have you seen those kinds of things that somebody got to pray and he started praying until they took him to the psychiatry and locked him i remember a lady years ago this lady was praying in tongues seemingly for about almost 48 hours i was there abu secure this girl was just praying 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 she wouldn't listen to anybody i wish i knew what i know now and the thing confuses the body of christ hallelujah everybody say forbidden knowledge men of god if you're in ministry here you have to be very careful that that insatiable lust for rema and revelation you must guard carefully 
and let this that's why walking in the spirit is the secret it gives you life when you walk in the flesh you may learn a lot of principles that although they are powerful it leads men to death so the more revelation a man is getting the more he's dying not to self dying as a result of the absence of light see this is how you know is one character to know that a man is not of God when you compare the rate of revelation versus the rate of transformation when there is so much word conferences happening conventions happening meetings happening rema upon rema bible study all kinds of things yet you do not see that that word is chaff it lacks the life to build people there is error i hope somebody is learning something here god put two trees and all the trees can supply knowledge for one it is the knowledge that brings life there are certain teachings on deliverance that does not bring life is that true there are certain teachings on deliverance that brings people into bondage because people added bible knowledge plus confessions that they got from people who were once witches and wizards is that true and they added everything and they say if you want the devil to run away from you once it's nine o'clock wear red that that one is not in the bible you see that that is that is deception dimension there i, I is somebody following what i'm saying i apologize if maybe these are the tenants of your church or your ministry i really apologize i love the body of christ but i have to teach you the truth so there is the biblical concept of deliverance for instance then there are others who have spent their entire life interviewing seemingly witches and wizards begging for audience with herbalists to explain to them the realm of the spirit knowing that satan is the father of all liars are you getting my point now and it is on the strength of those information they have built their prayer ministries or built a lot of things so when you want to pray for somebody you look and say uh -uh, i can't pray for you like this you are wearing a black shoe change it into a special kind of slippers that you wear when you enter my my this thing for the power to work this one is astrology and witchcraft is somebody getting what i'm saying or you get all kinds of candles with different colors this flame that flame this flame and you say now come and sit in the midst of it and just be calm as i drive this spirit uh -uh. this is called transcendental meditation this is witchcraft hallelujah yet you come and sit down in the midst of that candle something suddenly happens to you and you start taking first in the class all of a sudden your intelligence is heightened you think beyond your level and because you hallelujah hallelujah thank you are you following my story please because you are getting results you will be encouraged are you hearing what i'm saying be careful because many people are eating of the forbidden tree they are eating right now today here and now they are getting access to knowledge that seems to be producing results thank you but that knowledge is not of god maybe some of us right here as you are sitting down are already in these deceptions the moment you read those books although they are blowing your mind but something in your spirit starts checking the holy ghost is telling you uh -uh, when did you get into this when did you get into this and you see these books are in our libraries you can get them online many of you have watched every kind of thing you see a man who has supernatural ability to listen to plants and animals and you sit down there are all kinds of books people research online how to hear the language of plants and animals and they put all kinds of codes they say recite it by 12 or 1 
many Christians, you get up, carry your big head and stand in front of the mirror and now recite it. The last, you recite it and just wake up and see that it's morning. You slept. Something happened to you. You may not know what happened again. Anytime God wants to take in and bring out of a man, sleep happens and God calls Adam to sleep. Hallelujah. Are you understanding this? We are talking about dominion through, through spiritual intelligence. The knowledge that leads to death. I'm going to share with you very importantly, very quickly, two laws. Even if it's just in five minutes. Wherever we stop, that's it for the night. Two important spiritual laws that can help us. I'm committed to making sure that God grants us spiritual intelligence. That we have knowledge. This is what makes you strong in the spirit. Prayer is good. But it's not just enough to pray. You must have knowledge. So that when you see things, you know what laws are in place. And you know what to do about them. Knowledge takes away ignorance. Knowledge takes away shock from your life. So that you are not surprised about anything. When you hear that something has happened, you don't just panic. You understand. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord. Law number one is called the law of territory. If you want to walk in dominion, you must understand this law. The law of territory. Everybody say the law of territory. Look up, please. Dominion is territorial. Dominion is territorial. Even in the satanic organogram, they understand the jurisdiction and the boundaries of territories. There are spirits and principalities that do not operate in the earth realm. It's not their territory of work. Are you getting me? Every time they are on the earth realm, they are powerless. There are certain demonic operations that are territorial. I'll give you an instance. When you go to certain territories in this Nigeria, you see that there are certain traits and satanic operations given to that territory. When you go outside of the territory, it doesn't seem to have a hold on you again. Is that true? And you go into another territory, maybe it's drunkenness that is there. You go to another territory, maybe it's lust and immorality. The operations of the kingdom and the operations of the spirit are territorial. Every man, every kingdom citizen must know this. Abraham, come out of your father's house. Come out of this territory where you are. Into a land that I will show you. And if you do get to that land, then I will bless you. And you will be a blessing. I will bless them that bless you and curse him that curses you. And in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. But that will only happen if you leave one territory to another. Everybody say dominion is territorial. It's a spiritual intelligence that you must understand. Number two is that you must understand very, very clearly that in the place of your assignment, that is where you will exercise true dominion. everything opens up for you at your assigned territory there is an assigned territory where the spirit of dominion can walk in your life hallelujah this is what a lot of people do not understand please look up you must take out time to hear from god are you getting me as to where he wants you to be at every season not just what you want him to do for you but where your blessings are territorial and isaac sowed in that land genesis 26 from verse 12 and isaac sowed not just in any land although there was famine god told him this is your territory of dominion 
sow in that land a man of god may go to zamfara and sit down and say zamfara is not a lucrative place let me run to abuja for ministry and he goes outside of territory are you getting my point and you see a man struggling in a land of plenty he's struggling yet you will see another man in the same zamfara blessings coming from people those who are born again and those who are not born again because you are in the place of your territory say the law of territory many of us right now are at the face of our lives where we are trusting to know where god wants us to settle for every season it can change but that in every season there is a territory you miss your territory you will never walk in dominion because where god has assigned you he has commanded the ravens to feed you he has commanded the widow to attend to you are you getting what i'm saying i'll never forget when we finished the crusade in joss and the pfn people called me in the particular local government in joss and they said would you come and establish a branch of your ministry we'll give you an auditorium free and we'll give a few pastors to train i was happy i went to god god said you would die i told the pfn people god said i would die i'm really sorry i can't go as simple as that many of you would have said ah breakthrough god has buttered my bread and you will go there that's why you can see a ministry flourishing in a in a particular place and then they move to a place and it's as though god did not call them again favor is a sign that you are in the right place when i send thee lackest thou anything when i send thee lackest thou anything by the grace of god at this level of ministry i can tell you i am sure that we are in the place assigned that's why it doesn't matter what venue we use whether it is blue roof whether it is charity and faith whether it's whatever there seems to be grace backing us so many people have called me one lady said them and their family members they are praying that i must come to abuja they say relocate your level is bigger than zaria i said i appreciate you but i remember there was a man called ahitophel in scripture don't let people advise you out of your destiny they may be genuine they look at you and say kai zaria is it's too much for your level you say it's true just that what will we do and you start thinking and pack your load out of your destiny into a land where there is no assigned space for you you get into the land and there is no divine assignment for you there's no space for you you keep fighting and struggling with everybody moses said if your presence will not go with us let us remain in this territory where we are sure that your presence is with us this may be the answer to some of the tragedy of many of our parents they got up because of looking for greener pastures they just packed their load and said lagos here we come 10 years now they are still suffering every door shuts at your face it's a sign to go back for retreat and say lord speak to me speak to me where am i missing it don't just let jobs and all of these things decide your destiny i know this looks like a, a stupid statement and many people will criticize me for it they'll say are you joking in nigeria where there's no job but you must be careful you exercise dominion in the place of your territory your territory does not just mean the geography alone it means your jurisdiction of operation are you getting me if i go and enter the prophetic ministry right now as an office i'm not a prophet as an office i may operate in prophetic dimensions but god did not call me as a prophet in, in officially like your office your jurisdiction if i now say i'm going to come in and make sure i prophesy for everybody one by one i give you two weeks many of you will start praying and fasting for me because you will start having all kinds of dreams of me missing it you say oh god what is happening this guy is missing this thing there are many men of god who were called to be teachers or pastors but they 
they got outside of territory are you getting what i'm saying now there are other people who were called into prayer ministries their anointing is the anointing for intercession but they've now begun to teach wealth seminars and teaching all kinds of prosperity conventions that's not wrong except that you have come out of territory everybody say territory you will only walk in your dominion if you confine yourself and limit yourself to your territory your jurisdiction of operation there are certain dimensions of ministry if god instructs me to engage in i will find graces that are called at the heart of that area and bring them it doesn't matter whether i can preach more than them it doesn't matter whether i have more miracles than them uh -uh. it's about the grace and the dominion when a man is in his area of territory you will exercise dominion freely you see why a lot of pastors are struggling you go to a church and copy what a man of god is doing you do not know his his ministerial packaging are you getting my point so many people who are pastors trying to do the work of apostles little persecution comes and they are crying they cannot move forward because see when god calls a man he equips you according to the office when you learn this law you will walk in dominion absolute dominion there are things i have no business doing if god gives me an instruction he will have to give me a special grace for it or direct me to the people who will administer that level of building to the body of christ watch my knee calls it the limitation of the body people struggle because they do not understand their jurisdiction of operation is someone getting blessed tonight your assigned territory god has honored you in the area of catering when it comes to catering you walk in dominion there the next thing you got up and you just heard that people are doing um building materials and you just get up and go there you say i'm supplying building materials your first supply there was trouble second supply 10 years down the line you are still struggling everybody say territory thank you jesus the second law and then we will pray this one is very important it is a law that you must believe in and walk in it it's called the law of exchange this is a powerful spiritual law if you must walk in dominion giving something you love for something you desire is called the law of exchange the law of exchange you laid aside your majesty gave up everything for me suffered at the hands of those you have created you took all my guilt and shame when you died and rose again now today you reign in heaven and now exalted i really want to worship you my lord you are my heart and i am yours forever and ever i will love you you are the only one who died for me you gave your life to set me free and so i lift my voice to you in adoration listen how many of you have heard that a man gave up his ability to give birth to children for money have you heard of that everybody say the law of exchange when you understand this law you will know the reason why evil seems to happen in a place unhindered when the bible says an eye for an eye have you heard that tooth for tooth i've studied it it's not like when i break your teeth you will break back my own to revenge are you getting me it's called compensation that means if i do something to you you must take back something that can appease you to the equivalence of the offense are you getting what i'm saying 
it's called the law of exchange that's where we get trade by butter i give you a cow you must find something that is commensurate to the worth of that cow are you getting me that's why when man fell based on the justice of god god looked around to see what can be given he said if i give gabriel it's not enough if i give michael it's not enough do you know why because angels themselves are imperfect i hope you know it angels excel in light they excel in strength but they are still imperfect do you want me to show you job let's look at it one scripture you are the one who said i should show you Turn to the book of Job. Sorry about the time. We'll round up now. See, ba 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 ba. He could not give the angels because they are imperfect. Job 4. Please project it. Job 4, verse 18 and 19. I want us to read it together. Job 4. Can we hurry up? Our time is. Job 4. Everyone read. Want to read. He charges angels with what? Verse 19. He said even his servants he didn't trust them and even the angels he charged them with foolishness how much more a man that wants God to use him without being trained <laughs> so God could not give Gabriel and Michael and all of these people and so he looked at the perfect one the sinless one and said you are the only one that can go as an exchange for what I desire. Please listen to me. The same principle Satan wanted to use for Jesus Christ. He took Jesus to the mountain and he said, bow to me. In other words, let me give you wealth and exchange it with your loyalty for me. Are you getting my point? Just bow to me. Since you are the expression of the Godhead, bow to me so that the Father will see you bowing to me. And I can give you wealth. So when a man goes to meet a herbalist, he tells him, what are you going to give me in exchange? Please listen. I will tell you, this is the reason why many territories are powerful. This is why some of the terrorisms you see in Nigeria are powerful. They always give something in exchange for the authority to invade a territory. That's why they do it military might irrespective. Are you getting my point? When you come to God and say, Lord, I want you to use me. God says, what is the exchange for it? And you say, Lord, take my life. Have you heard that scripture that says, what shall it profit a man if he does what? And what? Loses his soul. That means, he said, Satan, let's do business. And Satan said, of course, I'm a good businessman. I will give you my soul give me the world so that anywhere i do business whether in italy whether in dubai let it work so that i must be the governor of this state or i must be this take my soul so that i will be the reigning musician and nobody can stop me and he says all right let's have the deal and he says take my soul they have received the mark of the beast that's the 666 there it's not something that will be put on their hand they have given their soul they have received the mark are you getting my point so satan comes to you what do you want to give in exchange please listen something must be given in exchange if you must walk in true dominion everybody knows this is not a herbal strategy 
it's a spiritual strategy i'm walking in the anointing i'm walking in by the grace of god because i received this of grace but something went for it my life my will my ambitions my desires they were laid down that's why i wrote that song take all of me all of me you have my everything that's my deal with god you have my everything are you getting me so my entire life will give him glory the day i compromise on my own part of the deal his mercy will show up but if i walk in rebellion i have broken the deal that's the reason why a man can give an exchange he will say i will give you my firstborn only give me this political position when the firstborn is now born the people come and say oh yeah oh, we gave you the power we gave you the wife where is our firstborn and you say sorry i didn't realize that children are this nice i've changed my mind they say you've changed your mind we will see all of a sudden the child starts getting sick they must collect their child except the power of god intervenes this is the reason why many families are suffering people covenanted families in exchange for money kings covenanted their territories are you hearing what i'm saying they gave it in exchange for protection they gave it there are families that gave in exchange their fertility so no children can happen in that family there are families that traded boys they said there shall be no men take give us might what men would have done let the women in our family do but take all the men and you find out that no matter how people try they will never give birth to men they give birth to men they will die no matter what happens you just hear that he was taking fresh air outside a bike came and carried him are you hearing what i'm saying exchange see these laws are not old testament laws they are spiritual laws they are still working today here and now are you hearing what i'm saying this is the law that terrorists use before they ever carry an assignment they must take out time are you seeing the reason why every time they shed blood people become richer think about it the moment blood is shed somebody makes money exchange 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 are you seeing the reason why the sacrifice of solomon touched the lord he offered a thousand bond offerings it was an expression of his heart god could not stop he came down many of us may never walk in dominion because you are not ready to exchange your life for his life you are not ready to exchange your strength for his strength but tonight how many people are ready to say lord take everything if this is the price for your grace and your glory don't let anybody fool you and say there's no price you go to a harbor list and see if he will just give you power like that look at me there are men who sacrifice their wives for wealth true or false some christians right there are pastors who sacrifice their children for church growth there are pastors who sacrifice their members for expansion i've said it again and again nothing just happens the day jesus will come we have a long wall film to watch that's when we will know that most of the things we call coincidences were not coincidences hallelujah listen let me tell you something i will never forget one time i was praying in the night years ago and i prayed and i was dedicating my body unto god i stripped myself the way my mother gave birth to me and i lay down on the floor i said lord let this body become a superconductor of your anointing if there is anything you can do to this mortal body let it carry your power this body cannot be used for sin and hell it, it i dedicate it unto you and god said this is what you are giving me i will put my glory upon your life and somebody just comes and says, god give me give me give me give me give me and the lord the demons are just looking and say look at all these ignorant people these are the negotiations that many scientists did with aliens are you getting me many intelligent people 
they said give us give us technology give us the wisdom you used and gave the pharaohs of old give us and let us do supernatural things in exchange we will give you the souls of men we will give you mankind we will give you a lot of things and it's happening here in the earth that's why you can see a man sitting down all of a sudden within two weeks this man becomes a mysterious millionaire either god has done something to him or the devil has done something there was an exchange somewhere a man of god is sitting down and all of a sudden power comes upon his life he begins to do supernatural things i tell you there is an exchange he has either gone to the throne of grace to exchange his life and say lord take it take my life and use me for your glory or he has gone to a herbalist and say take my firstborn or every two two years kill 10 members from my church as a sacrifice and let the anointing keep rising The life that i now live paul told us the secret of his anointing he said the life that i now live i live by the faith of god i surrender all to you everything i give i'm teaching you spiritual laws withholding nothing withholding nothing listen you can copy a man if you have not laid down what that man laid down you will never carry what he carries are you hearing what i'm saying you can copy the way he talks you can wear suits like him if you cannot lay down and exchange what that man exchanged in the secret place you will never that's why you can listen to a message that may not be so powerful by a man of god but tremendous grace follows it because there is a fraternity with god that's why you can see a herbalist he can make people millionaires but he lives in a coven it was the exchange for the power he can make people billionaires but he will never stay in a big house he will never wear good clothes he will wear rags papa Deboe, i shared it last week he's made it a vow and a culture that everywhere he goes he will get down on his knees that was his exchange for the kind of glory what are you exchanging let me tell you when you enter into the realm of the spirit you will see men who have exchanged things men who have given their souls to herbalists they want the same job you want they want the same business you want they are killing human beings and sacrificing it and you are just standing lukewarm there is no sacrifice there's no exchange and you believe in the labor market and compete with them there must be an exchange it is this exchange that will end sickness in your body is this exchange that can make angels come and cover your plane so that it will not crash it's not just about you you have exchanged something in the spirit he said i shall not die this is the exchange for living long i will live to declare there are some people that are unkillable it's not about confession i will leave you don't know what they have done in the secret place that's why god can kill a whole nation for the sake of that man jacob have i loved esau have i hated when laban laban did not know the exchange he didn't know what happened between the mother of jacob and esau laban wanted to cheat jacob that anointing came and animals started reproducing after the the the, the colors of jacob's animal and laban said ah i testify that god has blessed me listen when a man has made an exchange in the realm of the spirit you touch him to your own detriment because there is an altar that speaks for him my altar is calling you oh god my altar is calling you oh god listen this is why you can see certain people shout 
and say i can never be poor they say i can never die i've told you i remember when i packed everything that i had home and abroad i put it in one bag and i went to a prosperity convention my entire life belonging home and abroad aside from the current clothes that i was wearing it took a sacrifice to put your family in the covenant of poverty it will take an exchange to bring them out don't let any man fool you i dragged those things to the altar i sat down outside like the overflow like this i know we've taken time but what i'm sharing is somebody's deliverance tonight you must understand god and understanding jesus christ together with everything that redemption brings and together with every reality that comes today in christ this is the foundation for the victory of a believer you must be able to know who god is what jesus christ represented while he walked on the earth and what he means to you now and the quality of life we have discussed it what the bible calls eternal life remember i told you it's not eternal life everybody has eternal life everybody has everlasting life that rendition is the best of the translators eternal life is a possibility once you are born the parable of the rich fool and lazarus they all left this realm to another dimension of living and they were all alive could speak so everyone has eternal life and then so way i told us let me just do a, a quick recap that so way is not just a life superior to the human life because there are many lives that are superior to the human life money alone can create a possibility in your life where the quality of your life becomes higher than that of an average human being you don't have to be born again just that quality are we true divination can open you up to certain possibilities in the spirit where your life becomes higher in quality than that of a human life but it's not eternal life it was john that described to us he said this life is a derivative of an encounter with a person if for any reason you find out that you are living in a higher dimension of living above the normal human life but is outside of an encounter with a person your life is higher than a human life but it is not the way and this life is in his son he that hath the son hath that life you must know this because that light that enters you is what becomes your life that's what immunes you so you are able to manifest possibilities that are not privy to the average human being then you will know that it's possible to walk in health it's not just a, a, an issue of i won't be sick uh -uh, it's not just jacking yourself in empty confusion confession no then you will know that you are able to rise above situations and circumstances not just by empty confession but an experience that is now your reality number two quickly the second dimension of knowledge that i think we need is the knowledge of the holy spirit the holy spirit the holy spirit very few people truly know the holy spirit many people know about him there are all kinds of theological exegesis about him you must know his person and you must know his ministry jesus took out time in john 14 15 16 to introduce us to this personality called the holy spirit and the bible makes us to understand that the success of jesus was entirely because of the spirit of god it's impossible to be mighty upon the earth ignoring him receiving the baptism of the holy spirit is not knowing the holy spirit praying in tongues is not knowing the holy spirit walking in miracles is not knowing the holy spirit the holy spirit is a person you can know him you can understand his ministry what a joy your life will be a wonder when you know the holy spirit are we together you must know the holy spirit especially if you are in ministry listen i have learned by the grace of god and by experience that the absence of certain things can never be replaced 
by certain orders oratory will never replace the absence of the holy spirit are we together going to school and reading well will never replace the person and the ministry of the holy spirit kneeling down and asking people to give you impartation will never replace a personal press for an encounter and a knowledge with the holy spirit miracle signs and wonders will never replace him you can fake power you can't fake his presence are we together you must press to know the holy spirit i study god's generals and every time i have an opportunity to look at materials that make reference to them one thing was common between them regardless of their limitations and their temperaments they really knew him and their knowledge of the spirit brought accuracy in their lives they did mighty things that we are blessed you must know the holy spirit the holy spirit is not a personality to be known by men of god and miracle workers no the holy spirit is not a personality that should be known by apostles prophets teachers evangelists pastors no the holy spirit is the key to living and when he the spirit of truth is come the bible says he will guide you into all truth he will guide you hallelujah holy spirit can you pray one minute and say holy spirit reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me reveal yourself to me oh god you are my god and i will ever praise you oh god you are my god and i will ever serve you oh god you are my and I will ever follow Lord I will seek you in the morning I will learn to walk in your ways for step, step by, by step, step you lead me and I will follow you all of that's where we are bankrupt no direction we guess our lives and do everything and your lifetime is too small for error your lifetime is too small for repeated mistakes there must be a system in God for accuracy in ministry in family life your vocation whatever it is you cannot live your life just based on science there is a way that seemeth right unto a man but there is a personality for step by step you lead me i admit i'm ignorant but step by step you lead me and i will follow that's my part i won't be too ignorant i won't be too arrogant when he leads me i follow maybe a stupid instruction but i'm too young to question him he's the spirit of the father i trust him You trusted a lecturer who is less than 20 years older than you. You trusted a man who called himself your father. Not more than 30 years older than you. And here comes one who was in the beginning. The first personality of the Trinity revealed. And he comes to hold your hands. And he said, look, I took a very frail man called Moses. And I guided him. Brothers and sisters this thing is not just skill and talent alone is the foolishness of submission to a personality not a power not just an influence a person some of us have foolishly followed him for years with stupid instructions admitting our ignorance in the the midst of a proud world oh god you are my god just the same and i will ever praise you oh god you are 
my God, and I will ever praise you. I will seek you in the morning. I will seek you in the morning, and I will learn to walk in your ways. For step by step, you lead me, and I will follow all of my days. From tonight, step by step. The Holy Spirit was with was with God when they were discussing your destiny. It's a foolish thing to not need him in building it. No. If I was responsible for designing a curriculum and you ignore me when it comes to execution, it is called pride. I was in my mother's womb when he designed me. I called you. I ordained you. So you walk with me and say, Holy Spirit, I don't know my way I don't know my way many people claim is their power and their might many people claim I understand church planting many people claim I know how to be a man of God but can you humble yourself and press for the knowledge of him the knowledge of the Holy Spirit will require time and it will require submission one thing I know about the Holy Ghost is he hates arrogance the Holy Spirit hates arrogance when he comes to you you are not colleagues he's not in you as a tenant he's in you as the landlord what will happen tonight brothers and sisters is credited to him it is him that reveals jesus here look how many of us have wasted time listen to me i'm speaking to you there are many of us seated here you would have been working in your destiny already five years from now but this stubbornness of of not listening to him oh holy I, 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 all these church things no he told you go and serve in church by now certain things in your life would have gone ah. we wait on you lord we wait on you i wait on you lord we wait I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you, I wait on you, Lord, I wait on you. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. That's what I've done with my life. That's what we've done with Koinonia. Fill this temple with your presence. Holy Spirit, you are welcome. Fill this temple with your friends. We wait on you. Lord, we wait on you. To open up my destiny. You are the only one who can open up my destiny. whatever level you are just walk with him you may have no iota of unction right now forget about anointing be foolish enough to hold him let him lead you let others go just walk with him you may be behind but brothers and sisters there is an unction he will put something upon your life that will shake the nations and take away the boastings of men God is never too slow with men never too slow if he's the one that kept you, know you are faster, faster than anything you can imagine. Faster. There are many arrogant pastors claiming that they want to do ministry, but they ignore him. They like human connection.
but they leave him alone. I will never forget. Years ago, the Spirit of God would keep me and said, Son, never try to rush anything. Just walk with me. Just walk with me. Like he's telling someone now, don't rush your life. I know you think everybody has gone ahead of you. Don't rush that marriage. Don't rush that thing. Walk with him. One day with him will cover 10 years of mistakes. Walk with him. Apostle, I have no job. Just walk with him. Just walk with him. If you were working five years ago, all your salary put together would not be more than six million. Walk with him. Gosh. The Holy Spirit. Fortunately, from next week, I'm starting a series. The Lord has allowed me to take a series. We're taking a series on the Holy Spirit. A complete, I will share with you very deep things that I've not shared with many people. The Holy Spirit. You ignore him as a businessman because you believe you are intelligent. I went to Harvard. You ignore him as a father because you think I'm not a small child. Hi. Will I ever be able to leave him? I know you are looking at me. It's because I'm the, I'm the part of the deal that is visible. But behind me, I'm not too smart to produce the results that you see. I'm not ashamed of it. Oh. There is one who is mighty. Mighty. There is an infinite wisdom behind everything you see. If it is the Lord's doing, remember, then it must be marvelous. If it's a man's doing, then it is natural, scientific. But the moment it becomes marvelous, it is the Lord's doing. You are marvelous, yeah. You are marvelous, yeah. Hey. You are marvelous, yeah. value is defined by scarcity when you study developmental economics value is defined by what scarcity the ability of a thing to not be available everywhere the most scarce thing is whatever cannot be found on earth that's what he gives you as your reward anointing is not something you get just by fasting anointing is God's reward for trusting him for working with me I give you something that money cannot buy. For walking with me, I give you something that builds you out of shame and inferiority. I know you came from a background where nobody knew you and you were foolish enough to walk with me. Then I give you an unction. They may criticize you, but you don't deny proofs. Brothers and sisters, no, sir. I'm trusting that God will make someone's life marvelous. The key, listen, the key is not running around. The key is staying. Martha, you are worried and offended about many things. But one thing is needful. Oh God, I should have had five children now. Don't you know he can give you one child that is like a nation? Oh God, I've been crying about that job. When we talk about intimacy with God, many busy people think it's a waste of time. No, no, no. Look, I teach us some. No. No. If I followed that route, I would have been a failure today. A big failure. I'm not ashamed. You are the power in me. You are the fire at work in me. You are my ever-present helper, Holy Spirit. I... How do you stand and look at someone with a growth and take away that growth? Just like that? 
how do you look at someone who is dead and bring the person back to life there are people here now with situations that doctors have written you off even a charm cannot solve it you need a commodity that is not available in the earth i told you the anointing does not make the difference the anointing is the difference in a few minutes from now 10 years problems will just leave just like that no 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 that's what happens when you value him that's what happens that's what happens listen when you honor a man of god you don't just honor a body you honor the sacrifice the sacrifice of alignment that has caused that man to be able to hold certain dimensions of possibility listen to me all men are not equal no sir it's, it's a very harsh statement but it's the truth we are equal in Christ but our sacrifices and the election of grace has separated men to cadres based on the possibilities they can host ignoring that reality will be to the doom of a man the Holy Spirit we are going to begin to pray but I, I, I just four things the Holy Spirit you don't know him you are in trouble you will be faced by too many things that your age cannot solve you didn't study everything you had a degree in an area having a degree in engineering or in medicine is not having a degree in wisdom no sir that information is too small to define the quality of your life ministry you need him you want to succeed in life you don't just need information you need a person hallelujah holy spirit it's grace and glory i trust that god will initiate people into that dimension of grace of intimacy with the holy spirit hallelujah yes the holy spirit is speaking to me and he's saying there are seven people here right now that he wants to call like a call into intimacy seven people seven people seven people shalabran miskala shabras kele brahas call your people oh god it's an initiation into a dimension of intimacy the sister outside for he will be real to you real to you by his spirit this is not an issue of jamboree it's not an issue of feeling anointed it's walking with a person it will make your life a wonder a wonder a wonder he will make your life a wonder he will not just give you anointing he will walk with you walk with you so you become an effulgence of that grace then you can say that which we have seen that which we have heard that which our hands have handled Thank you, oh my Father, for giving me your Son and leaving your Spirit, your work in my life is done. I thank you. Oh, my Father, for giving me your Son and me your Spirit, your Word on earth.
Please sit down if you can. The third thing that you must know is you must understand the mysteries and the principles of the kingdom. Please, I want you to be very sensitive. We'll soon arise to pray. Sensitive. I just saw something jumping out of a lady. Jumping out of a lady. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Let it be the end of it. Forever faithful what will always provide for me praise your mercy towards me praise your way allow the Holy Spirit flow something is happening now the Lord is showing me a map you know this happens and I'm seeing Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna right now the anointing is touching Southern Kaduna people Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit Southern Kaduna Southern Kaduna this is what I see in the spirit you're from that place an unction an unction I see a map in the spirit Southern Kaduna. Let the hand of God step into that dimension. It's not a miracle. It's a sign and wonder. It's a demonstration of a dimension of the spirit. Everyone from Southern Kaduna comes under the influence of this grace. Southern Kaduna. Shabrakatos kelabrande katai. Leketekos sotopadia. Lift them, oh God. I hear my spirit lifting. 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 He's raising you raising you by his spirit raising you there is an unction that makes this possible raising you by his spirit i hope i'll be able to finish this the mysteries of the kingdom that's the third thing that you must seek to know not just the word of god not just Rema. The mysteries. There is a lady in overflow. Three. One is here. Two is the one by the road. Three is the one by the empty land. There is a lady overflow. Three. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is coming upon her. Please, I want, I want her to come. Overflow three. I'm seeing like an arrow. Right from this building. Right down there. Please sit down. Let's hurry up so that we can do a quick walk. There are so many people. You must access the mysteries of the kingdom. Everybody say mysteries. A mystery is a secret code of operation. The kingdom of God operates based on systems. And you see, these mysteries contain in them the revelations of God the revelations of God alongside the dimensions of his power. I've taught us here that there are two dimensions of God's power. The first dimension of God's power is enshrined in mysteries and principles. The second dimension of God's power is enshrined in a relationship. Two dimensions of God's power. So you don't have to be born again to experience the first dimension. The moment a principle is consistent with the character of God, it will release a dimension of the power of God like tithing like sowing and reaping like being responsible like mentorship all of these are principles in the kingdom that are backed up by god's own character you must access the principles of the kingdom 
therein lies the key to your dominion it is a terrible thing to be in the face of life and not know what to do you must know what to engage for the outcomes you desire can you tell me you understand the mystery that governs restoration you know restoration is a possibility in the kingdom but what is the code of operation that is responsible for releasing that dimension of possibility because the bible lets us know that both the years and even substances that a man loses can come back but do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make that possible are we together do you understand that there is a system in the kingdom that can make a sick person healthy yes you know that divine healing is a possibility but what controls it laying on of hands no no laying on of hands is just a channel the inner workings is the spiritual understanding that backs that are we together now you have to understand the power of God is released through light remember the scripture Habakkuk there was the hiding place of his power are we together when you understand that you don't have to lay hands on men to heal them it doesn't even have to be a miracle service the very understanding you have will respond to a man's need the same way if I stand with you and I have say tuberculosis you're a doctor doctor if I have tuberculosis and you stand near me must I believe in you to receive it no listen to me carefully are we together now I'm standing close to you it vetoes whether I agree with you I can even be insulting you but that's none of the business of the tuberculosis once there is proximity it will enter you you will live angry but you must receive it so if I can transfer sickness why can I not transfer health are you seeing that now that means I can stand close to you and transfer something from me to you life being the light of men you see that that's the concept of whatsoever is born of God not whosoever whatsoever is born of God can overcome not by jacking yourself and understanding grants you access to that dimension in the spirit where you can walk in it so you can come with a challenge you can come with a sickness like some of you are here now trusting God all kinds of impossible situations They've told you it cannot be solved. They are right based on their understanding. This is a doctor. They are not wrong based on their understanding. But God's, God's manifold wisdom introduces possibilities. You see, he says with God, with God, watch this. I've taught you alone. It is impossible, but with God, with God alone, I cannot call but with my phone with in partnership with God all things all things all things are possible I want you to look at the situation you came here with for the last time tonight because in the name of the Lord God of heaven it will go hmm. my assignment tonight is to bring it face to face with the power that created the universe not the power that governs Nigeria not the power that governs UN the power that created the heavens and the earth for he upholds all things by the word of his power number three that's it there mysteries so number one you must know God number two that's redemption and everything that concerns God in the person of Jesus number two you must understand the ministry of the Holy Spirit the third thing you must have access to the word you must crave for accurate understanding number four this is a mystery I believe that has been known by very few and I truly believe with all my heart that is one of the things that God has anointed me to reveal is the mystery of the body 
the fourth thing you must know if you want to excel is you must understand the mystery of the body of Christ this strategy called the body of Christ the body of Christ is not just people the body of Christ many people say the body of Christ is not just a church there are people the body of Christ is not people the body of Christ is a strategy the only strategy capable of birthing the purposes of God is called ecclesia the body of Christ the body of Christ is not a people it's a strategy that's why he said I will build it I will build it he didn't say I will make it I will build it like a formula like a plan and I will build it in such a way that it will be so formidable the gates of hell will not prevail against it there is a formation that the body of Christ is built it is so formidable the gate of hell can only touch members not the body the body was built by a system that cannot be touched by the gate of hell are we together never forget this many people have been robbed of the full dimension of the power of God first Corinthians 11 verse 30 remember for this cause many are weak many are sickly it is say for these causes there is only one reason why people are not able to rise to represent the fullness of God he said for this cause many are weak limited for this cause many are sickly and for this cause many sleep when was the last time you went for funeral and they told you somebody died because he did not discern the body that's what killed him please pay attention get my teachings discerning the body that whole series you have to listen if you are in ministry here or you are a church leader a deacon you have to listen to it if not you will never rise a body has thou prepared for me it was prepared to be used a formidable strategy that beats hell hands down it's called the body of Christ everything is available in the body listen carefully so if it is not available in your life it is available in the body you have to learn that any possibility my life is not manifesting does not define the possibility of God it is only the possibility of my experience but that reality is available are we together now yes son of man can these bones live and Ezekiel said this is not a possibility within my frame of reality he says let me show you the body the body this body is a mystery it was built with a formula Christ being the chief cornerstone immediately after Christ two strange ministries the apostolic and the prophetic then the building rises you must follow that formula to be formidable it is the building of the body so when you see a man telling you you don't need any man in your life don't depend on any man it's only God they are sincere in that they are trying to balance human worship but that's a destructive revelation that will kill you because please listen to my message I'm just doing a quick recap because I'm telling you the things to study we'll begin to pray listen carefully I told you that there are mantles and there are systems remember the teaching yes a system represents a covenant with God that releases a dimension of his possibility within the dispensation of that civilization it's called a system so in every dispensation there is a way and manner God wants to be known and the way he advances that knowledge of him is through covenant your relationship with God your spiritual growth is based on relationship but kingdom advancement is based on covenant so when God wants to release a dimension of him to a generation he finds a man listen he enters a covenant with that man that for as long as that man is alive he represents the spiritual system for releasing that possibility to that dispensation no one alive in that dispensation will taste of that dimension of God without believing or in alignment to that system this is how the kingdom is Abraham represents the system of the blessing the journey of a believers blessing starts from him system are we together now 
Elijah represents God's system of purifying and preparing men for revival. Elijah is not a man. Elijah is a system. I've taught you this. The first manifestation of the spirit of Elijah was seen in Noah. Elijah always precedes the great and terrible day of the Lord. The moment there is a visitation upon a people, Elijah must come. That's why Elijah is still alive. God's apostolic and prophetic system that prepares men for revival, for the move of God, is called Elijah. It's a system. The man Elijah died, he's simply a man named after the system. The system continues. The Antichrist is a system, not just a person. You see that? Peter, a system that represents faith. Systems. On earth today, there are men who are not just human beings, but systems. When you trace the ministry of the Holy Spirit, it can start from anywhere you choose upon the earth. Today, right now, it will end with Benny Hinn. You see that? Benny Hinn is not carrying a mantle. He's a system. He represents that possibility. No one will enter into the healing ministry without honoring what he represents to the body. This is called the mystery of discerning the body. Kenneth Copeland today represents God's system of faith and prosperity. Start from any point in the world. You will start moving from mantle to mantle, grace to grace, and it will land back in him. There are many systems like that. You will never get this through prayer and fasting. No matter how you pray, God will lead you to those people. He will give you encounters, but he will lead you. There is a system I have provided. It is your alignment with that system that will produce those possibilities. How much of the body do you know? Imagine what would have happened into your life now if you could discern the body. Discerning the body is different from destiny helpers. Destiny helpers are not systems. Destiny helpers, they may not even be born again. They are just people that God anoints to help you get to your destiny. There are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial. He says, even among the stars, one different from another in glory, not in shape, in glory. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. If you had discernment for the body, you probably would have been healed since. If you had discernment for the body, you probably would have been blessed since. Many people want to be rich, but they criticize those who represent the systems that deliver that possibility. There is no amount of prayer and fasting that will bring you into that possibility. Because when you scorn the grace that represents that reality, you authorize that door to close it only opens to honor not even seats honor if your seat sowing is a communication of that honor then it opens are you seeing that now i can't criticize papa Ia Deboy and bishop oyedeko and one crowds and multitudes is impossible carry posters everywhere it will not happen there is a system this is not publicity it's a spiritual reality. So in honor of what they represent, I am authorized to access that reality. That's why you are here tonight. Let me tell you something. Listen carefully. You see this thing you call koinonia? Koinonia is not a ministry. Koinonia is a system. You have to believe this. It's a system. It's not a movement. It's not a fellowship. It's not a group. It's a system. Is a system that has become a portal to release certain possibilities of God. I, I want you to be very hopeful so that when you come, you don't have to be afraid. There is something about the atmosphere. So no matter how far you are, you have come to Mount Zion. Certain things happen. This is not just some human bragging, a man of God trying to shine his ministry. No. tonight you are standing face to face with possibilities that are contained in God please listen to me 
you're standing face to face with a reality that you now possess that can change your ministry your business your family is standing face to face with a challenge and what you're about to watch within the next few minutes is what I call the dominion power of light over darkness the invincibility of the wisdom and the might and the power of God over darkness it will happen at the speed of light converting your prayer request to a testimony it's not trying to believe a reality here and now hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him Adonai thy kingdom come thy will be done hello him Give me a testimony. Lift your voice and pray. Lift your voice and pray. Two, two. Let it end every captivity. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit. Let it break every burden in my life. Hallelujah. Keep standing, everyone. I want to make an altar call quickly. Right now, everyone stand. There are people here, overflow one, two, three, following us online in this place right now. The Bible says this life is in his son. You don't hear about the son and receive life, you meet the son. There are people standing here, men and women scattered around. You are a pastor, leader, deacon, gentleman, lady, old, young, rich, poor, regardless of your status. Jesus said, ye must be born again. There are people here who have not met Jesus. We have to do this very fast because there will be such an outpouring of the Holy Spirit in this place. You are here inside and outside. You have heard what I said. And whilst I was speaking, the Spirit of God, the one we so honor, was beginning to minister to you that you must make your ways right with God and then you've been here and for some reason you've been one leg in and one leg out loved God was on fire but different things happened somewhere around your life and you're here probably standing inside and outside and wondering man of God can I join them most welcome I want to count one to five and um, now this is how we we'll do it 
I want you to come. The first sets of people can come out. When they come and here is full, then all the others that come will just stand at their various overflows, just close to your projector. But I want to count one to five and I want you to run like there's fire on the mountain. Right now, one. Quickly. Quickly run to Jesus. From the depth of your heart. You can keep standing. You don't have to lie down or kneel down. God bless you. You don't have to kneel down, madam. You can stand. Quickly. Two. Don't think about it. Run to Jesus. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. And this life is in his son. Man of God, I'm not sure whether I'm born again or not. Join them quickly. Join them quickly. I remember coming out for altar call one day. But right now, I'm not sure. No, if you are not sure, you have to come out. When a woman is pregnant, she knows. You are not sure, join them. Something is wrong with what happened to you. Three, are you coming? Apostle, I'm trying to come out, but my neighbor is stopping me. We rebuke that spirit trying to stop you. Come out, come to Jesus. Jesus said, if you are ashamed of me before men, I will be ashamed of you before my father. Let this be the beginning of the miracle service for you. I think we have enough people inside now. Every other person that comes, just direct them to their various overflows outside. Those coming from outside, you can wait there now. In every moment, I'm away. Lord, have your way. Lord, have your way. Hallelujah. Madam, look at me. You, you love Jesus Christ? Come. I'm seeing you. You are not working well. What's wrong with you? What's wrong with her? Who brought her? Because I looked at you and I saw you limping and then I saw in the realm of the spirit severe pain. Come. What's wrong with you? From where are you? Program. So she now told me that I should come and attend the program. So For I have diabetes and ulcer. My back pain from the back here down to my leg. Everything. Yes. I'm feeling the pain very well. That is why she asked me to come and do the program with you people here. So that is why I came here. Mommy, look at me. Every one of them. You heard what I said? Everyone will leave you here and you'll go back to Abuja. Amen. Amen. You believe that? Yes. Of course, if it doesn't work, your sister will not ask you to come. Hallelujah. I'm going to lead you people to pray. Join them to pray. We're going to pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ. And all that devil will go. The ultimate cure is not the prayer for healing. The ultimate cure is Jesus. A man was brought to Jesus crippled and he says, Thy sins be forgiven. And people say, Ah, what is this? And Jesus said, Which is easier? Hi. That means to be healed is easier than to be saved. So it's not as easy. It's not just recitation. Are we together? Mama, I'll pray for you. Go back and join them. Those of you standing here, the overflow, lift your right hand and sincerely, you are not reciting a point. From the depth of your heart, I want you to say this after me. Say, Lord Jesus. No, some of you are crying, but don't worry. Jesus sees your tears. Say, Lord Jesus. I love you. And I believe in you. I believe that you are the son of God I believe that you died for me you shed your blood for me you rose again for me and tonight I receive your life I receive your grace I receive your spirit I declare that I'm born again I'm a child of God in the name of Jesus victory is given to me over sin over the flesh and over the world in Jesus name please keep your hands lifted I pray for you in the name of Jesus Christ the power of sin the power of the flesh and the world over you is broken right now I declare your sins forgiven I declare that the life of God is at work in you beginning from today 
the Lord transforms your life by his spirit in the name of Jesus Christ now I want you to do something for me very quickly please cooperate with all the people um, whether outside any of the overflows there is a gentleman waving his hand some um, of the uh, ushers there i want you to just follow them quietly and then give them your correct details very quickly this is so that we'll follow you up and then we'll get to see you so do that very very quickly very quickly madam i will pray for you you go and write your name and come back while we are waiting for them please make sure we are going to be very fast you see that our time is gone so it's going to be a very quick walk very quick walk we're going straight to the business of the night and i want you to believe it doesn't take time it only takes god it doesn't take time it only takes god very very quickly very very quickly we're going to trust the lord to please ushers coordinate them very quickly and uh, let's have them back because we want to pray now are we together everyone say after me in the name of jesus Please be serious in the name of Jesus. I decree and I declare that every spirit, every force, every influence standing against God's word over my life, I declare that you are under judgment tonight. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and pray, everyone. Shala bras kada baladia. Shapra tas kala brato shobrige de balada balada ba. Yes, Lord Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There are always spirits behind the tragedies of men. Whether or not you know, it is there. And until those influences are taken out of your life, victory is far from your reach. Are we together? Number two, I want you to decree and declare that the fire of God must fall upon every challenge you came here with. Say, Lord, visit it one by one until there is total victory don't let the challenge don't let the challenge limit you take your eyes away from it and pray are you praying inside and outside Who can stand against the Lord? No one can. No one will. Who can stand against our King? No one can. No one. Lift your hands, everyone. Just lift your hands and be silent. Such a strong anointing in this place tonight. Lift your hands and just be silent. Please. I'm seeing two numbers, five and one. And the Lord is saying there are 51 people here. 51 people. He's bringing massive 
deliverance to their families i want you to bring them out 51 people don't shout don't do nothing just keep your hands the lord is asking me to stretch my hands and the power of god that unction for deliverance will move like wildfire all through the overflows right now i stretch my hands in the name of the lord god whose i am and whom i serve right now i release the ministry of angels mighty deliverance right now bring them out the fire of God is visiting individuals for their families. I see fire burning. That's what I'm seeing. Bring them out. Just keep your hands lifted. The angel of his presence moving inside and outside. Moving inside and outside. Please quickly, let's have them. Shalapakuratai. Legretos Kopri Shalapariatako. Overflow one. I see a strange activity of angels. Strange deliverance. Shigalaparakoto Soto Balada. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty in God. You reign. You ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. You are mighty on your throne. Seketela kata. Keep your hands lifted. Malekete prekete lakaya. Ay 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 ay. Mighty on the road. You reign, you ancient Zion's king. Kadosh, Kadosh. Help that lady, please. You are mighty on the Break forth down fountains of the deep and with Kadosh. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing snakes. That's what I'm seeing. Just flying up. Snakes. I'm seeing many ladies being delivered from this influence. Right now, I stretch my hands. In the name of Jesus. I put the word of God upon this prophecy. In the name of Jesus. I release upon it the power to perform. Shakatakata. Those influences in the name of Jesus, I release judgment, 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 judgment upon every strange influence limiting the life of God's people. Break forth down fountains of the deep and weep and weep and weep at all. You reign, you reign, you reign, you reign. You Hallelujah. Now lift your hands, Jesus. I'm seeing gates, gates with chains. One shout is what will bring that gate down. Are you ready? Just a shout of the name of Jesus. One, two, three. I open those gates. Kato Shobarata. Lengete kete. Sobes kotai. Embre kete kete leka. Gates be open. Gates of limitations. Gates of stagnation. Be open. The gate must open. 
tonight is a miracle service I prophesied the two lift gate be open the two lift gate many of you don't know what is happening in the realm of the spirit I tell you I see gates gates of destinies gates of possibilities that are being held by witchcraft gates over families no progress no results I come tonight with an apostolic and a prophetic anointing gates be open gates be open gates be open gates be open listen listen to me a gate is what gives a man access access into a place access out of a place the bible says to open the doors of prison there are men who are moving but they are under prison there's nothing hear me you may be here listening to me there's nothing you do that works no matter how you try seek advice it will not work no matter what you do you are not bad you are not lazy but there is a spirit but right now lift your hands in the name of jesus one more time i come against the spirits that stand as gatekeepers over the victory of people over the life of people at the count of three i want you to shout that name the name that is a key that opens the gate one two three i open it i open it i open it online outside i command it to open i command it to open locked by ancestry locked by divination locked by necromancy and projection manipulation of the constellations i command in the name of he that holds the key of david i command that door be open that no power can shut be sensitive tonight the spirit of god is moving one of the ushers one of the ushers you are an usher but the unction of the spirit help her visiting your family visiting your family hallelujah hallelujah i'm seeing a lady quickly there's no time to speak our time is gone we have to pray for the sick but i'm seeing a lady you have two sisters two of them are barren they are married no children please where are you it's part of your prayer request you are wearing a black dress you are the one come Ah, there's witchcraft in your family look at me come you are a great lady but there is terrible witchcraft in your family there is a lady again the Lord is opening my eyes I don't know why this happens I'm seeing a map Benway 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 people get ready Benway 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 I see Benway and the Lord says stretch your hands and bring deliverance to men in Benway I stretch my hands right now the anointing of the spirit visiting people Benway 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 by the spirit of God by the spirit of God hear me and I'm hearing in my spirit break the covenant of motherhood I don't know what this means but this is something that has to do with a covenant involving women I arrest it right now in the name of Jesus I see fire dropping right now people from Benway you are from Benway you come under this influence please help that yes. Benway Benway the spirit of the living God the spirit of the living God traveling to Benway breaking covenant I speak to the soil of that land release the destinies tied with you 
Listen, what I'm seeing is not good. The Lord is taking me to a vision and I'm standing and I'm seeing black ropes around trees. This is Otuko. Black ropes tied around trees. And the Lord tells me that the destiny of men were tied to those trees. In the name of Jesus Christ, lift your hands. At the count of three, may the fire that the God of Elijah commanded, I command it right now upon every shrine, every activity of darkness. In the name of Jesus, let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Let it come upon you now. Hallelujah. The supernatural I've taught you operates only in partnership with five elements. Listen. Without one or more of these elements, the supernatural cannot find expression. Guy, I'm seeing a wild this is a serpent. I'm looking at this person and I'm not seeing a human being again. I'm seeing a serpent. I stretch my hands. The Bible says, For the light shines in darkness. And the darkness comprehended it not. Now listen carefully. Five elements of the supernatural. Number one is light. The supernatural cannot find expression until it can use the medium of light. Number two, the air, sound. The supernatural cannot find expression until there is a medium of sound. Number three, the earth. The earth is a universal point of contact. Every living thing makes contact with it. Number three. Are we together? Number four, water. The mystery that bears witness. Water is not an entity. Water is history. Water is a memory bank of the realm of the spirit. Contained within it are more mysteries than we understand. Number five, fire. A mystery entity that does not run away from anything and yet consumes everything purifies and destroys can make and kill the only personality with the quality of fire is God can make a life and destroy it would destroy another thing and in it lift another thing purify gold and destroy the impurities I want us to use one of the elements of the supernatural because everyone is standing on the ground I want to pray for you the Lord is asking me to break delay please just follow me we are coming to the sick people but just follow me tonight let's walk circumspectly I'm seeing people whose feet have been tied down they cannot move you are here no matter what you do there is no progress this is the story of your family look at me the Lord wants to visit you first even before your family your two sisters, they are married, no child. Are you married? You are not married. We have to pray. I don't know if you believe what I'm telling you, but God is raising you to be a savior in your family. Believe this thing, no. You may not look like it, but it is the spirit of Deborah. But first and foremost, you must be delivered first. God is not finished with her. I command that devil, go. There is no hiding in his presence. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, my dear. In the name of Jesus, the Lord God whom I serve, I command the reign of witchcraft as I hold you right now. Over your sisters, over your life and over your family, I command them to be broken right now. I release upon you grace for restoration. In the name of Jesus, and I pray for you, that grace of Deborah that causes women to rise with the strength of men, I release that grace upon you. I want you to go and tell your sisters, the Lord brings a visitation to them. Even as he did to Hannah at Shiloh, the Lord comes for them with strange visitations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now all those under the anointing, I command the spirits. Any spirit that has been located by God must leave the victims. Therefore in the name of Jesus and at the count of three, you know my voice. I represent his majesty. At the count of three, you must let them go now and forever. One. Two, three, be gone. Go! 
out of their lives destinies now and forever out of their lives out of their destinies I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery I prophesy recovery for when a thief is caught he's made to pay back tenfold I command recovery in the name of Jesus let them go there is no hiding for his light shines upon you in the name of Jesus Christ listen if there is any project you are involved in lift your hand any project business project building project please just lift your hands before I pray we pray the prayer that will release speed projects ah. I'm standing and I'm seeing an angel of the Lord walking across this place and I'm standing here and he's saying I should stretch my hands here there is a visitation that is coming for the people here therefore I stretch my hands Lord your will be done I don't know those who you are bringing perfection to them right now in the name of Jesus I release that unction and that grace everyone within this vicinity let there be supernatural deliverances and supernatural miracles help them in the name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ now everyone is standing I want to pray for you please listen there is such a thing as advancement in a man's life it's not a doctrine it's an experience where a man can make progress spiritually financially business wise if you are in a position for a long time it's a sign that something is wrong are we together it says ye have come past this mountain long enough then it tells you the formula the door is in the north it said turn northwards turn northwards you have come past this mountain long enough I want you to stand on the ground I see physical fire rising and sweeping consuming people's feet some of you as this is happening you will hear the sounds of physical chains literally physical chains this will happen I want us to shout the name of Jesus three times that's what the Holy Ghost is telling me I will lead you and you will shout it the third time the chains of delay and stagnation will will break open many of you physically physically you feel it happening thank you Jesus let the word of God come upon this prophecy are you ready now number one are you ready number two now I want you to get ready that grace that came upon Elijah and caused him to run overtaking the chariots of Ahaz speed and advancement is coming on people right now are you ready? shout Jesus receive it now receive it now let the earth deliver to your destiny the keys of advancement I command you to advance I command you to move forward I break limitations I break limitations I command advancement outside advancement the overflows advancement may that anointing hit you advancement 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 in the name of Jesus the son of the living God no power can stop you our God is greater our God is stronger God you are higher than many other. help me our God is here awesome in power Oh, 
your hands towards me. Don't lift it up. Stretch it towards me. There is, there is going to be an activation of strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. Strange gifts. The time for impartation will come. But fire is living. And it's coming upon people and the Lord said, let them stretch their hands. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands back to you. In the name of Jesus. Gifts, gifts, gifts. Don't man gifts. Don't man gifts. Where is it? I call it forth now. Don't man gifts. Don't man gifts. You may not know it's there. I'm not talking of the gifts of the spirit. I'm talking of potentials. Gifts, gifts. I stir it up right now. Like a well, I command it. Like the axe head, I command it to float right now. I command it to float right now. Gifts that will bring you honor. Gifts. So toko toko to pereke teke te. Gifts. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Gifts. There is a lady. I'm looking at you now in the realm of the spirit. You are dressed in something that looks like orange, like the house are dressing from your head to who is that? Who is that? Come from this row, Jesus praise. What's your name? Veronica. From where? I came from Abuja. You came from Abuja. As I stood here, I was hearing your prayer, and you were saying, Lord, let this man of God locate him. And the Lord is saying, I should tell you that two things now. Number one is captivity and reproach is being rolled away from your life. That's the first thing that is happening to you. Captivity and reproach. Captivity and reproach. Inside, inside the main auditorium, from where people sit in front, count nine lines, nine rows. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. The power of God is coming on somebody on that row right now. Inside. Inside. It's a strange miracle coming for that person. The ninth row. Supernatural manifestation of the power of God. My sister, what do you want the Lord to do in your life? Uh -uh. You are just generalizing. Huh? I'm looking at you and then I'm seeing your heart and I'm seeing should I say it? Do you believe you can? Are you married? Huh? Where's your husband? Did you come with him? What do you want the Lord to do for him? See, this man is your real prayer. That's, that's you want the Lord to honor him. And what, what is he doing now? I'm seeing him leaving that place oh, to another place. That has been your desire. Go and tell him that a man of God has prophesied to him that he's going to leave that place supernaturally supernaturally and that he should stop wasting his time over the person he's calling all the time to help him that's not where his help will come from go and tell him that the lord said he can raise help anywhere in the name of jesus christ i pray amen and amen there is a lady here in this room in this um place i'm hearing grace please let's hurry up quickly so i can leave this place we have to pray for the sick i'm hearing grace grace who is that you are down at that side grace who is that wearing red grace that's okay grace your name is grace this is not this is is it maimuna is it maimuna or something i'm hearing a name maimuna 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 I wish we had time today but we have to pray for the sick i want us to leave this very fast because i'm going to counsel well just leave her i found the person but but you come my dear i want to pray who is this no 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 no. it's not just any grace i pray for you my dear lift your hands god wants to visit your family 
there are four people here a very strange unction for revelation and teaching is coming upon you now no 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 four of you right now a strong power is hitting you right now just in this this place outside i don't know what it is about this place maybe the miracle services will start coming here now there is there's real faith in this place my dear i end it now i end it now in the name of jesus christ keep your hands on her stomach i end it now i command that reproach taken from your life in the name of jesus don't come out for social reasons but i'm seeing a lady here you have suffered a very terrible infection this is a, a woman issue a terrible infection this thing you have treated it and done everything you know to do but it has refused to go this is witchcraft it's not just a normal infection you have spent your money but right now the lord is saying i should prophesy to you that it comes to an end complete end right now in the name of jesus christ complete end i stretch my hands four people right now here in this world lord where are they one is a lady three are gentlemen step into that dimension that's right help them thank you jesus hold on there is a mother here god wants to wipe tears madam who is a gala here hold on you are a gala from where from where Oppo. where is that is there a place like that in the gala land huh in kogi state so that you don't come and tell us lies if, if you are not from there just wait there is your turn to come from lift your hands i'm seeing an attack on your life and your family and the lord is you free madam where is your child did you come with a child There's no time to waste, please. I'll just pray for you so that we can go. In the name of witchcraft, now. And on you right now. Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Lift your hand. Say after me, in the name of Jesus. Say it in the name of Jesus. The anointing of the Holy Spirit is bringing into my life strange testimonies lift your voice and begin to pray lift your voice those outside are you praying lift your voice and begin to pray kai one of the things listen hold on i'm seeing now i want you to believe it i just looked up and i started hearing the cry of as if babies just fill the room listen carefully I just lifted i wanted to move and i just lifted my eyes and the lord told me that one of the major miracles he's doing tonight is giving people children if you are standing in for barrenness whether you are in any overflow please come in i want to minister to you by myself barrenness only barrenness please husband and wife if you are standing for barrenness except you are standing in for someone if you are standing alone you must be married praise god you are standing alone you must be married in the name of jesus may that grace come upon you by the power of the holy spirit please stand you can go you can go pastor alpha now we are going to pray and while they are doing that let's buy time ushers move around all the overflows make sure you collect the request of everybody i notice overflow three there are few people attending to them there so let's have people you see why we need more ushers and we need more people say after me father, father. everyone shout it father, father. We, receive we receive your visitation, your visitation. in the name of jesus name of we, receive we receive miracles signs, signs. And, wonders. and wonders now please accept they ask you you don't have to tell them what is wrong don't worry the hand of god is here to bless you in the name of jesus christ father we give you all the praise those online i want you to connect by faith 
and trust the power of God to touch you. We have very few minutes to do this and in the name of Jesus will be done. No matter what the issue is as we touch you, start checking yourself. You can register your testimony. We'll take it on Friday. Whether you are standing in for someone, don't worry. The power of God is there to touch you in the name of Jesus. Father, we give you all the praise. Do you know why I came here? Because I saw that this woman, your issue is not just healing. Hold on. I saw the, her holding pictures and a passport. And then I'm looking at it. And I saw a plane. Is it something like you were staying outside the country? Is that true? Yes. Because I'm seeing a woman, a plane, bringing you. Is that true? Uh -uh. And the Lord is opening my eyes. I'm seeing another vision. I'm seeing a quarrel between you and a man. Like your husband. And that man drove you. Yes, sir. He drove? Yes, sir. From where? From abroad. Where is abroad? Qatar. From where? Where is he? This is you? Yes. Ah. One week. Oh, my God. This is a baby. Look at me. Why did he drive you away? You see why prophecy is powerful? Look at this woman. Come, madam. I looked at these things and the Lord told me that this woman needs help. I know I'm taking time, but let's attend. Madam, don't cry. It's okay. Where were you before? No other man. We are together in our blood. We are together. Are, were you married? Yes, sir. You are from where? Benway State, sir. You are from Benway? Yes, sir. You see, I told you what God was saying about Benway. You, you married him and went abroad? Yes, sir. Then what happened? He said as you come back, my paper is having issue. Not knowing that he went and married secretly from my community. So he lady, married another woman? Yeah, from my same community, sir. He's staying abroad with her? Yes, sir. He drove you away with the baby? Yes, sir. No, he, uh, he drove me when the pregnancy was one week. <laughs> Did he know you were pregnant? No, sir. Immediately I took it. He now said to come see, back. Man, listen. This, this is what we, we keep saying again and again. Please listen to me. Now, I don't mean no disrespect. But you see why ladies will tell you people to marry people who are born again. Not just people who have money. Huh? Don't let anybody just come and show you one shoe, one bag, and just carry you around like that. It must be godly. Look at what this man did for this woman. One week and left her with this innocent child. So where are you staying now? I'm staying out in Abuja. So my it's sister. from Abuja you came? Yes, sir. What do you want God to do for you? I want God to bring him back for me, sir. He married another woman? Yes, sir. She knew you were his wife? Yes, And she still came and married? Yes, my dad is also here, sir. Where's your dad? Yes. Daddy, please come, sir. Oh, he cannot walk. After my marriage, I now send stroke to him, sir. He's from, okay, Benway too. Yes, sir. Why am I seeing light leaving you to this man? Come. What's your relationship with her? He's my stepbrother. I'm a first, uh, I mean, stepbrother, the firstborn of the family. You are the firstborn? Yes, sir. From where? From a penal state. You are suffering. Hi. Yes, sir. Huh? Yes, sir. Nothing is working your life. Yes, sir. At all. You need the hand of God. Look at your father. Look at this man. Look at this dear man. You see this? This, brothers and sisters, believe it or not, is what witchcraft looks like. Are you seeing this? Whether you are in Qatar or wherever, if that spirit is not destroyed, this is what it will do. Because I stood and I looked at her and I saw a plane carrying a woman. But she didn't look... If you see this woman, does she look like somebody who has gone abroad? I'm not insulting you. You can see that this woman was not even treated well. Suffered with the man. Now he went abroad and sent her back. When this baby now, if we decide to carry this baby and take care of this baby, when this baby becomes responsible, the man will now call the court and come and say he wants his child back. Then they will now accuse men of God and accuse everybody and say everybody is stupid. You are using the baby to make to get power. You see why sometimes we avoid these things. It's not because we cannot help people honestly. 
is because sometimes the media right now are experts at stigmatizing men of God. You do anything to try to help this baby now, you'll be in trouble. Are we together? Holy Help me. You're the God of awesome one. Hey, you stood up your power. The Lord is opening my eyes. The same spirit that made that man drive you is making him fight with this woman now. They are not even. No, 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 no. I'm not seeing peace. Huh? I'm not seeing peace. I'm seeing a situation where this man is coming and checking the woman's phone. And then I'm seeing another man's text. And the man is giving her a dirty slap. Slap on her face. The Bible said, What God has joined. What's his name? Simon, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power that created the heavens and the earth, I call you back to your wife. In the name of Jesus, may you encounter a man of God and an anointing that will save you and deliver you there. And I declare in the name of Jesus, this baby will not be a bastard. Baby, I speak to you. Every foundational thing programmed in your spirit as a baby, we cancel it right now. Madam, look at me. I decree and declare the favor that was on Esther that made Hadassah look at her once and had to call her to be his queen. May that favor come upon you. Listen, don't go to any native doctor. You hear me? Because I'm seeing one mama coming to you in Abuja and she's telling you that there's somebody. She told you he's a man of God. He's a native doctor. Don't go anywhere. Huh? And number two, anybody that says you should bring one naira. What did I say? One naira for prayer. Just thank him and walk away. If, if this poor woman, you still collect money from her for prayer, then you must be a very wicked person, isn't it? In the name of Jesus, he will return with testimony. My brother, come. Are you working? What do you want God to do in your life? Um, I'm a pastor. So when I, I mean, God called me into ministry. So in the field, the back to be, I mean, the came so tough, the, the attacks and the uh, foundation, they became so strong. So I took off. I, I couldn't stay. But up, up to now, God is still calling me back to where I serve him. I've been serving him to. Where, where, where were you serving? In Kogi State. No. You need mentorship, you need covering, you need impartation. You don't just get up like that and go into ministry. God saved you, they would have killed you like a chicken. There are rules to this thing. Eh? It's not just because you touch somebody and he fell down, you get up and go to Kogi State. Do you know what pursued you back? Eh? It's the mercy of God, it's not witchcraft. They would, you would have died like a chicken. Please listen, I'm not scaring you. But there are systems. Don't get up out of zeal and just say, I am anointed. Be careful. As powerless as Satan is, is your understanding that this depowers him. If you don't have that understanding, you can be anointed and your life will be destroyed. Praise the Lord. My brother, hold my hands. I'm not just seeing you doing ministry. Truly, you need help. Eh? You need help. After service, come and see this man, Pastor Alpha. Eh? After service, come and see him. He will talk with you and guide you and train you and help you. In the name of Jesus Christ. A time of prophecy and activations. Some of you are here because you desire higher levels of unction. Your ministries, your lives, your businesses. The prophetic word of God is very powerful. When there is grace back in it. Because it does not only reveal it creates are we together in the next about two or three minutes i want your heart to genuinely and desperately be open be open in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i'm seeing a grace 
working in this gentleman you are the first i know you are doing protocol work but you are the first to receive this grace i see a grace of two of you supernatural gift of the holy ghost taking you to a new dimension in the spirit hallelujah benga come grace for another dimension of fire lift your hands grace fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension fresh fire fresh dimension you speak and there is power of performance power of performance power of performance power of performance no word will be empty you speak and there's grace and the power of performance hallelujah someone come and hold victor come come and hold them somebody grace supernatural influence and wisdom and victory in a strange dimension a dimension you have never seen in your life in the name of Jesus supernatural grace I open up that level grace in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ, the of Jesus Christ. where shall they we're rounding up they are doing their please someone Hold her. I don't want. Hold the child. Speaking, we have just a minute or two. Hold her. Make sure that ladies, you come and hold her. Father, in the name of Jesus, the Lord is quickening the power of sight, the grace to see, grace to see, the grace to see. Make sure you are holding her well. The grace. To see. Penny, you are taking back fresh fire. Fresh fire. In the name of Jesus Christ. Fresh fire. I'm not, it's not like I'm just speaking people. This is, this is just by the Spirit. Come. The Lord is bringing glory on you. Fresh fire. Even upon your hands. In the name of Jesus Christ. Listen, you see. Hold on. We're out of time, but Pastor, house on the rock, come. You have been desiring something for a long time. Come. God is giving it to you in this season. In the name of Jesus. May that fire, may that grace take it. Drink of that wine in the name of Jesus. Fresh unction. Fresh unction capacity open up your capacity in the spirit in the name of jesus christ there's a heavy spirit under that small girl in the name of jesus christ place it on her just place it on her leave, leave it there in the name of jesus judgment upon that devil foul spirit hallelujah we're out of time but i want you to receive let me start with the men of god you are in ministry here it's time to take something heavy and something genuine let me pray jump i come come i'm seeing it a new age Truly new grace and a new wine. New grace and a new wine. A supernatural dimension. Dimension. This grace will speak in unbelievable ways. Lord, bring him into that experience. In the name of Jesus. Truly bring him into that experience. I open up. I open up. I open up. Closed fountains. I open up now. Closed fountains. I open up now. Fire. 
fresh grace for influence 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 business influence new grace new dimensions of wealth influence commanding miracles strange miracles collect that child from hope collect that child from hope in the name of Jesus fresh fire hope I activate that dimension fresh fire in the name of Jesus God is giving you eyes that see strange dreams revealing direction for people's lives in the name of Jesus where's Aaron Aaron where's Aaron in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord says I should tell you seasons of reward are before you seasons of great and strange reward father let it be by the power of your spirit by the power of your spirit lift your hands in the name of Jesus Christ God, something is coming strong go the unction for new levels in ministry at the count of three if you are here in ministry there is a call of God upon your life one two that fire comes now take that fire now take that fire a new level of ministry a new level of power a new level of grace never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren never to be barren where's Yerima head of department media please come quickly quickly I'm praying where is he oh that's him there in the name of Jesus the Lord says he's bringing you honor untold honor untold honor by the spirit of the living God untold honor untold honor untold honor now I decree and declare Jordan where's Jordan Jordan bookstore I hear restoration where are you restoration fire that restoration fire in the name of Jesus everything the canker worm the palmer worm has stolen restoration in the name of Jesus now I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost the Spirit of God comes upon you and you begin to run like Elijah I prophesy speed receive it now receive it now speed 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 by the unction of the Spirit speed by the unction of the Spirit speed in the name of Jesus hallelujah every helper of your destiny that is supposed to show up and partner with you and endorse you to the next level in the name of Jesus I stretch my hands and I place an unction on your life receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now receive of their ministry now where's pastor alpha's wife just hold her there she's heavy so in the name of jesus the lord is saying have i not said i will bring you favor it will manifest god is bringing favor after you give birth to your child pastor your family will step into a strange level of favor it will be at the commencement of this boy's birth or this child the moment the child is born in the name of jesus christ there will be strange miracles by the anointing of the holy spirit i pray for you the kind of glory and honor you have never seen upon your life i declare receive it now receive it right now all your tithes your giving god has released the blessings but something has hijacked it in the realm of the spirit I command the release of your harvest I command the release of your harvest I command the release of your harvest whatever was not working in your life before you came here I decree by the spirit of the living God go back to it 
and watch it walk in a way that will shock you whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately I say it again whoever opens his mouth to mock your God goes down immediately anyone here been eyed by the spirit of death to make sure that the earth kills you to make sure that you die or any bad news from your family I cancel it right now in the name of Jesus Christ as you step into the month of May by the power that is in the name of Jesus I declare in one month alone in one month he said have you ever had this that a city is born in one day he said but as soon as Zion travails she shall put forth a son I declare in one month this month of May a dimension of the ministry of the Holy Spirit to bring you strange results receive it in the name of Jesus receive it in the name of Jesus I pray for your family members in the name that is above all names if they have never testified from January till now I command testimonies from next month I pray for those who are students you wrote your exams you cannot rest you are afraid whatever went wrong I change it now whatever went wrong I change it now I don't care what went wrong I change it now anyone here trusting God for a job by May miracle service as surely as the God of heaven lives may God shake the heavens and the earth and give you your job and you are here you are working and they've refused to promote you whoever sits on your promotion gets out of his office in the name of Jesus Christ any human being on this earth who has fraternized with the elements of the supernatural to limit your life I pray now I command all the elements of the supernatural to fight them the same way the stars fought for Deborah I command the earth to fight them I command their success to fight them anyone who has trivialized your grace and neglected what you represent to make sure that doors don't open for you I decree and declare in their presence the Lord will lift you any prayer life here that has died because of carelessness carnality whatever it is sin that has been responsible for destroying your prayer life your passion you were on fire for God but there's laziness carelessness lukewarmness in the name of Jesus like the hair of Samson I command a sevenfold restoration for you now prayer fire in the name of Jesus Christ whatever has destroyed your world life no passion you carry your Bible you don't even know what to study you make up your mind that you will study there is a grace that helps men I pray in the name of Jesus may that enabling grace come upon your life now may that enabling grace come upon your life now the final prayer I want to pray for you listen there is a name that God is called the lifter of men hear me don't let any man lie to you that he can lift you on his own a man can receive nothing except it is given to him do you know lifting is a sign that God is with you yes read your Bible lifting to leave your current position to another is not a sign of big manism it truly is a sign that God is with you read your Bible there is nobody that God was with 
who he did not lift. God who can be a man from a donkey. Many of us, it's not like message. you are doing bad. I want you to keep but doing when inside you have been for there for a long God. Our man of God, our Everybody is rising and they come and, and see you spiritually, I financially. For him. Please that don't let anybody indoctrinate you that lifting is not of God. If you are not lifted, you will be frustrated at the point. Because the only way to bless others is as you are rising. And that all provisions will be given unto him as he continues in this The God who has gloriously lifted this ministry, the God who by his spirit has helped us, giving us a voice, Connected us to over 44 to nations of the earth, the supernaturally by His Spirit. Keep sharing, keep sharing I pray in the name of Jesus, wherever on the surface of the earth your lifting is tied to, I decree and declare, Maraca dos calibre de telator, mare dos copre te que labariatata. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Be lifted now in the name of Jesus. I speak to your business whatever you do be lifted now in the name of Jesus I speak to your ministry be lifted now in the name of Jesus they are taking for a prey and none say it restore I say restore I prophesy restore in the name of Jesus wave your hands and give Jesus all the praise dearly beloved I hope you were blessed by this message. Do not keep the video to yourself. Share to as many as you can to help them bless. Check our homepage for more of our messages. Subscribe to the channel. Comment on it. Like it. See you on our next video. Bye. Pray. Pray. Pray for your destiny. Alaska de Pasca Nakata Branda Catecos, Cate Branda Catapaco Tosco to break a take a legata. The face of development, Lord, grant me the discipline.